Peace. Hold tap, hold tap, family. This is your RBG brother, Guy Nolly Wood Jr., representing the RBG Nation. And again, I'm coming to you with another exclusive video. And um, today's topic, as you can see, is admixture. Um, soul brother number one abused oh i'm sorry soul brother number one sewer rat angel snuff snuff seven abused soul sister and um i have to make this video because it's the shame that you got brothers out here that claim they're something that they're not. They make videos after videos after videos, and they try to give you this illusion like they're the good guys. And, um, and people believe them. This is the reason why I always say to people, do background checks. Do background checks on these frauds. You know, when I went to, like I said, when I, and I think I told, said this before, when I went to Philadelphia to meet my brother, Maurice Muhammad, and towards the end of his speech, you know, he had, you know, thanked his wife. And it was a beautiful message. It was a beautiful uh, message that he gave to his wife. And it was a heart, it was very, a heartfelt feeling. And, I, and I'll never forget that, you know, I'll never forget that. And it was, it was a sincere, and I saw the real love. And that's what Pan-African, we as Pan-Africans, we, we definitely, you know, as far as the men, we love, our sisters dearly, and we show it, and um, and that's why I, I respect our Pan African brothers. We we definitely show that we love, you know, um, our women, and but you got these people who claim they don't want to be have nothing to do with Africa. Or Africa, they don't want to have. They're not African people. They don't want nothing to do with Africa. But these people are the most hateful people, the most deceiving people. And I'm going to screen share uh, because I want to bring some awareness to our sisters. You know um, about uh, abusive people. You know, you got people who are very, uh, these Negroes are very abusive to their women. And you got good sisters that's being abused, good, good sisters that's giving these brothers a chance, that's cleaning these brothers up. And you got these, these, these Negroes that don't, don't, don't have no, no, don't, don't ever have no compassion and don't share the love back. See, this is this what the, the Negroes who hate. Africans who hate, who don't want to be Pan-African. These are the, the evil people. And these people got to be exposed. You know, you know, I, you know, and, and I'm doing it for my sisters because it shouldn't be like that. It shouldn't, you know, and this is what I do. I bring a real aware, a, a awareness by using these people uh, as, as a way to, uh, to show an example that we won't tolerate certain things. So I want to, I'm going to screen share. Just give me a second here. Okay, just give me a second. I'm going to screen share something. Hold tap, Miss Life Lessons. 
Hotep. Um, let me screen share this. I want to screen share this real quick because this is something that needs to be um, exposed. Let me see this. Let me see. Okay, here, here go one. Well, as you can know, as you can know, that Angel Snub Snub Seven used to be married to this woman named Patricia, uh, uh, Patricia, Pat uh, Patricia Robinson. And um, she, she cleaned this man up. This man was doing horrible. He was a bum. And remind you that Talik is going by Angel Snub Snub Seven. Um, even though Talik, that's his Muslim name, and Patricia, she's going to reveal his real name, his birth name, and she's going to tell you what she went through with this nutcase. And, um, but I'm going to show you what she, she said in this video, and I'm going to show you uh, the things that she had to do that this she talked about how this man was very abusive and remind you he was in the nation of Islam okay he was in the nation of Islam he changed his name matter of fact he was in the nation of Islam in the in the early 2000s so he changed his name in 2006 to Tali Ibn Ra so uh, I'm going to play you this video, and I'm going to show you what she said. Here we go. Let me blow this up. I don't know when you're going to get this message, but I just want to let you know you are done. Your life has already been a mess, and it's going to get worse. That was low down and dirty what you would do to a woman with children and you know i need my car and you're gonna take my car keys but that's not right because i will get another I, i'm getting another car uh key made but and then for you the cows are near you dirty snake in the grass i pray you die and you're going to you're done everything you dish out you're going to get it back now for real because you playing with the wrong one that was low down and dirty. And if I even had any thought of even talking to you again, you just blew it. So don't don't count on a happy life because you will not be having a long one at all. And again, I don't know when you want to receive this message, but how can you take my car keys? And how could you try to do something to come between me and my daughter even more? You are so wrong. But I already know you're immoral. All the nasty pictures of the women you have on your uh, computer, and then all the nastiness of the people, uh, vaginas and butts and tits. You are immoral. So wait a minute. So wait a minute. This man, so this Talik is a pervert. This man was looking at pornography. This man was looking at porn in front of her daughters, you know? This is the type of dude that he is. This, the, a sewer rat will only do this. So, and then, you know, you know, and this is the woman that, that loved him, you know, that put him in, put him in a, in a home, you know, he was in a warm bed. She cooked for him. She she cleaned him up. And this man is this dirty dude looking at pornography. And and, and what were her daughter? Those those are her daughters. Those not his kids. This man's a pervert, and he was in a nation of Islam. That's what that's what kills me. This man was in the nation of Islam. 
That's why it's very important to do background checks on these on these morons, these evil people. And no doubt and dirty. And I'm gonna tell you something else. You did not do anything but make our life a living hell. And I was not gonna let you do that. Walking around like some deranged person, like we really know you are. So if you want to use this, play it out to whoever. So they hear how immoral you are and how hateful you are and spiteful who you are. Because I would have never did that to you. And again, I don't know when you want to receive this message, but how can you take my car keys and how could you try to do something to come? Now, I'm all, now that's that's just that that that's just one. Um, video, but I'm gonna play you another video when she actually going to give you more detail of what's going on. So let me screen share this video. Oh uh, no, that uh, well, if you want to call him Native uh, Indian American, but he he's the ad mixture. That's that's Talik, that the the ad mixture dude, you know. He said he's 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 not either African nor he's uh, Aboriginal. He said that he's a, we a mixture of everything, you know. You know we we even got some cat and dog in us, according to him. So no, this is Talik. This is the 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 mental case dude, the loony coon. You know how this man abused his ex-wife. He abused his ex-wife, Miss Leslie, uh, Miss Life Leslie. And he goes around saying that we're the bad guys, you know, but his ex-wife is exposing him, saying that, no, this dude is not what you think he is. So everything he said was a lie. So I'm going to show you what she says. I'm going to show you what she, what she says. Let me screen. Let me get out of here. Uh, give me one second. I'm going to show you this one. Let me show you this right here. So a name in this video is that Angel Snup Snup. She said, Angel Snup Snup, stop stalking me. So this man is a, a he, 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 he stalks women, but he claimed that he loved Soul, his he loved his soul sisters. But here's a soul sister that his ex-wife that took care of him, cleaned him up, gave him good loving, and he treated her like crap. We as Pan-African men, we don't treat our wives that way. We don't treat good women that way. But this woman was a good woman. She was a good sister. Now this is Patricia Robinson. She tell and she's going to explain to you, explain to you what happened, where she had to get a restraining order of this of this evil bastard. And I will never deal with this dude ever again. And anybody else that deal with him, I'm cutting him off too. I'm telling you that right now. If anybody else or anybody else that that deals with this dude. I'm cutting them off. I don't play that. I don't play with any man that abuses good women. Any any Negro that abuses good sisters. I don't I don't do that. I don't I don't play that. I don't. Fortunately for me, right now, I'm dealing with a mental, mentally insane stalker by the name of Eben Ra. Talik Ibn Ra, a.k.a. Snub Nub 7, or uh, Angel Snub Nub 7, uh, whose government name is Lauren Ray. Lauren Ray, that's his real name. Lauren Ray, that's his real name. Okay? That's his real name, Lauren Ray. Now, she's, she's going to tell you exactly what happened during the time she was married. Now, remind you, this is not really that old. 
It was only this is a five year old video. So five year old, a five year. Well, you're going back 2015. I can remember things that I did in 2015. So we're not talking about 10 or 20 years. We're talking about five years ago. And you know, this guy is sick. And and it took me less than 90 days to see this. And this is why we are no longer together. First of all, I thought that the brother was sincere. And I and I really believe he had a, a real big following. But you know, hell, you you can have at least fifty people listening to you when you have a hundred million internet sites. I mean this guy's all over the internet. He has hundreds of videos, maybe even thousands, thousands. And 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 he's using the internet. Trust and believe me for therapy because Talit Ibn Ra, aka Angel Seven of Seven is truly mentally insane and you know <laughs> brothers and sisters it was a sad thing to have to accept on, accept on conception when I first saw him and got with him and began to interact with him me and my children it was a sad thing to have to accept but it is what it is and he should be taking his medication, but instead he's using your attention, brothers wow. and sisters, people, black. So wait a minute. So wait a minute. So he's taking. So basically, I was right all along. He's supposed to be taking his meds. You you cannot come out of a crazy house or or a mentally insane prison and not take your medication. He knows that he's mentally ill. He knows that, you know, he's insane. And and and, and the funny thing about it, why what it, you gotta be a dumbass to follow somebody or even to listen to somebody who comes out of he admitted that he was crazy, came out the crazy house, and but he got followers. You know what I'm saying? Oh, trust me, I'm gonna show you the documents. That when he had the case that in the uh, in the Missouri case, and they'll show you that he was that that he was trying to fight this case, trying to pretend that he wasn't crazy, but what he was crazy. So, um, but his but you know, but she took him in. You know, she took him in. His, uh, Patricia Robinson, his ex-wife, took him in to show him love and care for him. But he but you know, but he treated her like garbage. You know, so you know, I mean. My thing is like you you go, you know that you're not you you're not you know and to to you're not fit to uh you you're not you you you're not fit to do certain things so you you know you know you got to take your medication you know you got to take a medication but people following this clown okay I don't understand that but let me let me continue let me let me continue what she says. Let me get to you what she says. It's men who were about us every day. And so living this is not easy. We we tend to look at things of the past and all the heroic things that black men and women have done in the past. And I don't have to call out the names. You know the names because the names are constantly repeated. The Sojourner Truths and Harriet Tugman and the Noble Drew Ali's and the Marcus Garvey's and, and so forth and so on. The Honorable Elijah Muhammad, Master Farah Muhammad. You know, we 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 sound these names all the time, but we talk about them in past tense, and we do nothing about standing in the legacy of those great people doing the things, or even attempting to do the things that they did in order to be heroic to us. So, in that is pain, in that is struggle, in that is um, a giving of yourself, in that is difficulty, in that is been able to give up something so if you're not willing to stand no matter what around you is going on if you're not willing to stand no matter who it is family friend or foe that might stand in your way and you're not willing to trudge on to the divine destiny then you can't say you're standing at all so i see sister leah 
I used to, when I was a little girl, I used to say, I'm going to stand if I have to go by myself. And so, though I've been married and I've had children, and I have loved my children with all my heart, soul, and mind, if my children get to a point in their lives where they become adults, and they do not, no longer want to follow the teachings of the Honorable Elijah Muhammad, in its effect, you know, being decent women and men, knowing not to repeat the mistakes of our forefathers and of, our, of, our, of their grandparents, and not even me. So I try not to make some mistakes. You know, like, I, I don't want no, none of my children, none of my girls to be baby moms. I did not want that for them. I did not want my sons to be baby daddies. Those are things that cause a problem in the direct fiber of the family structure. That's true. And so here I am before you to say, you judge me, I don't care. But just like the Honorable Elijah Muhammad shared with his children, if you're not about what I'm teaching, you can hit the door. You can go on your own way, but long as you're around me, you're going to have to submit to the will of Allah, Master Muhammad. That's exactly how I am. And that's how I've always been. So I have children that are out in that world, but you know what? I don't worry about them. I, that's their life. They made that decision. The ones that are still home with me, we are still standing on this teaching and living according to the divine culture that the gods gave to us. And that is knowing what to do, when to do, how to do, where to do, and who to do it with. And so, as as a black woman, I feel compelled to be a strong example and a strong presence in my daughter's lives that they do not repeat the, the, the errors of the past. And I likewise, for my sons, wanted to inject them into relationships with men that I admired that had not made mistakes and became baby daddies and 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 women abusers and things like that. So unfortunately for me right now, I'm dealing with a mental mentally insane stalker. Wow. Mentally insane stalker. Okay? That's what she, this is what, this is Talit. He's a mentally insane stock. He stalks women. He harasses women. This is any woman that get with him, I feel sorry for. That Mammy Noble, I feel sorry for her. I feel sorry for her. She don't know what she's getting into. By the name of Eben Muhammad, Eben aka Snub Nuff Seven, or uh, Angel Snub Nuff Seven, uh, whose government name is Lauren Ray. That's his real name, and, Lauren you Ray. Know, this guy is sick, and and it took me less than ninety days to see this, and this is why we are no longer together. First of all, I thought that the brother was sincere. And I and I really believe he had a, a real big following. But you know, hell, you you can have at least 50 people listening to you when you have a hundred million internet sites. I mean, this guy's all over the internet. He has hundreds of videos, maybe even thousands, thousands. Wow. And 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 he's using the internet, trust and believe me, for therapy. Because Talib Ibn Ra, a.k.a. Angel Snub Nuff 7, is truly mentally insane. Mm -hmm. And you know, brothers and sisters, it was a sad thing to have to accept on, accept on conception when I first saw him and got with him and began to interact with him, me and my children. It was a sad thing to have to accept. But it is what it is. And he should be taking his medication. But instead, he's using your attention, brothers and sisters, people, black, white, green, yellow. I don't, it doesn't matter because he's all over the Internet, all over the world, because he's on every Internet site he can find. So my point is this. He's using this as therapy when he should be taking his medication. Some medications you just have to take. But him sitting up 
in his loneliness in, in a corner of a couch or laying on a, a pot in the basement or sitting in the back of his truck, mm. you know, riding around the world where he could be meeting people and interacting with people. But all he's doing is spending time on the Internet making videos because it's therapy for him. That's his couch. <laughs> That's his couch. <laughs> And everything wow. he's feeling, the anger, the disappointment, the pain from his background and from his life and the things that have happened to him. Like all of us have had things happen to us. But what determines your mental capacity is how you deal with it. And he has not been able to deal with it very well. So he uses the Internet as his couch and as his therapy. Don't let him do this to you. Nothing he says has any validity. Nothing he says has any any depth. Everything he speaks comes from some other person or some other school of thought or some other speech he heard or something like that. It's nothing authentic because it's all him trying to find a way to deal with his own inner peace, to deal with his own inner pain when he just needs to face the fact that it is what it is. So, you have a man 50-something years old, don't have any children, don't have any interaction with anyone in his own family bloodline because they are all kind of really sick. Wow. But <laughs> he's trying to be the one that's the extreme, and he's not. Mm -hmm. And so, he's been stalking me. I mean, actually literally stalking me. And here's the truth. Okay, here, here come the restraining order. She got to get a restraining order. Okay. A police report right here. Let me see if I can get it closer so you can see. There you go. I want people to see this. She had to get a, re a police report, a restraining order against this crazy loony coon. So he's he's giving you an illusion that he loved black women, he loved his soul sisters. And look, she had to get a restraining order against this this nutcase. This abuser. Okay? These this that that that's the proof. So 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 I want women to be aware when you get with these 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 crazy dudes out here, man. So a lot of these dudes are unstable, but they give you this illusion like they're the righteous ones. And while he's bashing Pan African brothers, that 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 you let me tell you something. You will never hear that from the sisters. When they're dealing with Pan-African, we don't abuse our sisters. We don't mistreat them. We don't. Police report. And um, I'm already seeking counsel on how to deal with him because being that he was mentally uh, institutionalized for 10 years for the same crime, I don't know how to deal with that, really. I mean, I'm, 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 I'm taking it back. But he keeps. So, so this man is a criminal. She said he was institutionalized for the same crime. So I want to know what the hell he went to jail for then. Angel Snup Snup Seven, the Miss, the Mister Righteous Dude, the the Realia Temple, the Miss, the the Mister, you know, the, the At Mixture Dude. He's a criminal. He's a criminal. He keeps, me. Uh, he keeps threatening me. Um, he uh, recently here, when he was here in February, well, January, because uh, February left. So, so he, so not, so he harassing this woman. He even threatened this woman. So you, so. So this dude must be a really big man to really make threats of a woman. You know, he probably threatened her life. Talking about he's gonna probably gonna kill her or he's gonna he's gonna ruin her financially. He said this man threatened her. 
threaten this woman's life. But he'll come off and say that me, Maurice, and Brother Bakari, and Brother Craig, we're the evil ones. We're the, 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 the pro-blacks is the worst, and, and we're the evil ones. But this man is a criminal. This man is a, he's a, he's, he's a woman abuser. January, something happened to my tabletop computer. And so since we were not at odds at that time, he, he went to fix it. Do you know he went in my computer, downloaded some software where he can tap into my computer no matter where he's at in the world, driving around on this truck driving job he's only had for a couple of months and probably won't keep it for nothing but a couple of more months because mentally insane people cannot stay on the job. But anyway, he's tapped into my computer and controls my computer to keep me from writing what I want to write and posting what I want to post. Who does that? That's an insane person. That's the work of an insane person who can't let go. I mean, I know I'm a good woman. I know I'm a good sister. I, he knows when he was here, he got well taken care of. But the fact remains, you're a grown man and you got issues. So you need to go out there and try to figure it out on your own. And if you don't want to take your medication, I cannot be your uh, punching bag for your mental instability. Mm. So that is why he had to go. So brothers and sisters, again, help me bring a vibe that might help him move on. Or unless he's going to wind up back in the mental institution messing with me because I'm not going to take it. And so uh, he, now he's stalking my daughter. He's stalking my family. He's showing up at family events that he's not invited to. Wow. He, uh, he's with my daughter. And everyone that knows that he's with my daughter, Zania Tahiga Robinson, says they're sleeping together. And, and that's foul. And, and I and I don't wow. want to my daughter for that. But that's another thing. She got wroth with me, left home because she did not want to submit to the teachings. So she parted ways with me. And now she's got a grudge against me. So that's why she's dealing with Talik. But that's, they're both wrong. Mm -hmm. But he's mm -hmm. only doing this to hurt me. And that's wrong. But he won't give up the fact we're not married. I sold the ring. I I tore up the license before I got them notarized that we were no longer married. It's over. So help me with, with, with that gift of God that we are. Send out a vibe that will move him on away from me and my family and my situation, period. Because whether it's good or bad, it's my life. He has nothing to do with it. What my relationship with my children, he has nothing to do with it. My relationship with my family who are pork swine eating Negroes, he has nothing to do with it. So stay out of it. Just move on. And I know you all will agree. So I don't hate snub up seven. Angel snub up seven. I don't hate Talik even rock. I feel sorry for him, and I just wish he would move on. But again, with me, my brothers and sisters, let's send out that vibe, that force that will make him move on before he finds himself back in the institution. Thank you for listening to me. More to come about Aaliyah Rebecca Muhammad. And so I just wanted to, uh, I wanted to share that to the people. I just wanted to share that to the people and to let this let the people know that we're not going to tolerate that. This man come off and he give, he always trying to make it seem like he's the good guy and the Pan-Africans, we're the bad guy. You will never find videos where our wives are coming out saying that we abuse them. Okay, we mistreat them. We, you will never find videos like that. But this woman had to come out publicly and say, "Look, this man is sick. This man be belongs in the 
in the crazy house. And she said she took care of this man. While this man is a pervert looking at porn, then he said, then, then she said that he slept with one of, one of her grown daughters. And he's a Muslim. He was a Muslim at that time. That's what it doesn't make any sense to me. You know? So he wasn't like he this is not before he became a, a nation of Islam. He was lost. He was he was a, he was a, he was a Muslim, a member of the nation of Islam. So the man is a fraud. The man is a fake. The man is 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 a, is a sick bastard. So we can't have this abusing abusing women, mistreating good women. She says she's a good woman. I believe her. Gave him all, gave him all good loving, cooked for them, had a hot plate, slept in a warm bed, make sure he had, when well, this man didn't have nothing. So now that you want to abuse her, you want to come around, you want to do every dirty thing in the book to this, to this woman who haven't done nothing, who took care. I don't, I don't, I don't understand that, but we're not tolerating that. And any, like I say, anybody going that man's panel, you know, you know, I don't do that. I don't know. I don't play that. You know, I, I just don't play that. I don't, I don't, if I don't fuck with somebody, I don't deal with them. I don't play no two faces bullshit. I don't. So I tell people, if you want to stay on that dude's panel, stay on it, but don't come on, don't come over. That dude is, is a, is a, is a, 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 a woman abuser. He hates women. You know, he hates women and any woman that deal with him, I feel sorry for them. Looking at pornography. He's a sick, he's a sick bastard. He's sick. So I'm gonna I'm gonna screen share something else. I'm just not gonna tolerate. I just don't. I I don't like I don't like to hear stuff like this. But he'll come off acting like he's just goody two shoes. Now, as you can see, this is the um the report of the pantry. Transportation, and this is with the, the doing of the Missouri case. I remember he mentioned this, and this is public information. You could definitely look into this, and um, and it's dealing with that, you know, dealing with the case. But look, let's look down here. He said it appears that the plaintiff, this which is Talik, who is also known as Lauren L. Ray, was committed to the Department of Mental Health. After pleading not guilty of the of by reason of the mental disease and defect of unspecific offense, and you know, all, you know, you can read this. You know, this man is definitely, and you know, I, I, I've been I've been robbed. Anybody with IBM is 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 really come is an Arab name. Um, you know, I know there's these. You know, uh, if you if you look at Eben Eben Kandun, he was a, a Arab who who hated African people. So, you know, I'm surprised this Negro took up Eben Rod. You know, anybody with Eben is, is, is you know, is an Arab name. Eben Talik, Eben Rod is an Arab name. Arab had owned our people, um, uh, African people. Um, he just went from one slave name to another. I don't, I don't get it. I just don't understand that, you know, you take a, a Eben, where you, if you read of Eben Kadun, he, Talk really nasty against African people, um, so I'm very surprised he picked picked this name. But um, but yeah, so um, this man this man is a, is is a, is a nut, and why do anybody want to associate with him? I don't know, but um, but this man hates women. This man hates women. You know, this man do not like black women. He don't like African women. He hates Africa. He, you know, saying this man lived in an illusion, and and it would take crazy people to listen to crazy people. Um, if I would have known this earlier, uh, two years ago, three years ago, I would never have I would never have allowed this dude on my panel, um, and um, I wouldn't even associate with anybody who associate with them. I, I'm just not gonna. I'm not. I don't play. I don't play play that you know i don't play that any man any man i don't play with any dude um abuses good people any man that abuses good women i don't deal with them and vice versa any woman abuses good men and i'm talking about as far as within our race 
I don't deal with them. I don't deal with them. Cause you got some good sisters, you got some um, you got some evil sisters that good that abuse good men as well, good good brothers as well. So I don't deal with that. You know, we as Pan Africans, we don't do things like that. But as you can know, there's proof um that this man is a sick dude, and this new this dude need to be back in the in the crazy house. He really does. So I had to show that to the people that this is not going to be tolerated. And um, and I'm sick and tired of of this clown making videos about Pan African people like we're this just this evil people, and he's the evil one. He's the one that beat women and and verbally or uh, 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 slandered them and and um, and harassed them. You know, just perverted. Just perverted, looking at pornography in front of in front of in front of uh, uh, babies and, and this perverted piece of piece of garbage. <clears throat> so we have to be very uh, aware, and I just want to uh, just bring that awareness to our sisters about the hypocrisy and about the lies this guy is doing. So, like I said. We have to learn how to do background checks when we get involved with organizations or with, with who we we get involved with. Sisters, if you get involved with a man, know who which who you're dealing with. Do a background check. Know his how his family is, and don't don't just get in a relationship because you know you're lonely or or you're just you know um, or, or or you just got or you just got came off from a, a messed up relationship. You know, you got to you got to do a background check on these people. These guys are liars. You know, some of these men are liars, you know, and, um, you know, you always tell even when she said, even with uh, what the sister said, she said his family is crazy. You know, and I believe it. I believe, you know, when he said when he when Talik said his moms used to call him all types of derogatory names. And talk about his skin and 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 all that, you know. And um, you know, you know, and he's doing the same thing to to the people, to his own people. You know, what I'm saying he talked about my features, but he didn't get on Alquan when Alquan talked about his platypus nose, saying he had a platypus nose, talking about he had a Mike Tyson eyebrows. And his face or his head looked like an erect penis. He didn't say nothing about that. And who defended him? It was the Pan African brothers. It was brothers like me and 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 brother Maurice. We defended we we defended his uh, the brothers against the, uh, Alquan. But then you got it. Then him and Alquan. You know his recent video with him and Alquan. They started talking about dissing brother Maurice. And in this in this. And another scumbag, uh, Alquan. Oh man, yeah, uh, yeah, man, you was right about Maurice, man. You was right about him. Oh man, I, oh man, you was right. All of a sudden, they buddy buddy now. But in the meantime, they did a, a few videos dissing each other. You know, Alquan don't like black women. He he sleep well, he sleeps white. So you are dealing with people. That don't that that living of what they say. They want other people to live, you know, the way that how they how they see it. But they're not living uh, what what they what they preach about. You know, I'm living what I preach about. I'm living in a middle class black neighborhood, and I'm and I and I love it. You know, so I'm not going to tell people, oh, you should live among black people. When I'm living in a white neighborhood. I'm telling people to, to go to Mississippi, but I'm not in Mississippi. You know? I where let me tell you something. One thing about me is I'm only gonna concentrate on my people of where I'm at. I rather concentrate on the people of where I'm at and help them and show them the way. And once I move to another state. Well, another country, I can do the same thing there. 
that's what I'm about. But again, um, I just I just had to show that we can't allow these pranksters and these these uh, uh, these pranksters to come on and and and, and spread uh, uh, evil and lies and this this falsehood in the atmosphere to the, and, and and just give this illusion like they're the great ones and we're not and the Pan Africans are or the blackity black and we you know no we we stand what we say. We Pan Africans, we saying, well, we don't. You will never find a video of some woman saying, "Oh, we are abusing them and harassing them, and all this other stuff." So, women, be aware of who you get involved with, and I say the same thing with the brothers. Be aware of who you get involved with. You know, so um, I just I didn't, I didn't want to make this a a, a, a long video. But I just had to play that because uh, um, this guy, he makes videos uh, uh, making fun and dissing Brother Maurice and, and, and dissing me and Bakari. And, um, and um, yes, uh, Maurice, that's right. That's right. He did say that. She did say that. Um, and uh, we we're not gonna play that. We're just not gonna play that, man. You know, but uh, we we we're not having that. We're not having. It. But this man is not what he s says he is. You know, she she had to get a restraining on her. You saw the replace. <laughs> she you saw the replace report. So this man harassed her, uh, just a uh, 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 threat. Her he, he threatened this woman's life. But he said that we're the bad guys. But wait a minute. He's crying when Maurice <laughs> was getting at him. He was crying. Oh, my God, these Pan-Africans is threatening my life. Oh, but when a man threaten your life, you're crying. But then you got the nerve to threaten a woman's life. See, that's some punk shit. He ain't no man. He ain't no man. You know what I'm saying? But he want to bang on a woman. But, he, but when, when brothers like me and Maurice, he ain't trying to bang with us because he know that he'll get his ass whipped. But you want to threaten a sister's life. And that, man, that's, a, that's your wife. That was your ex. That was your wife, man. So I'm glad, Maurice, I had to show this video, brother. I had to show it. You know, because um, I remember... Uh, you know, you know, I was talking to Erica. I remember she was telling me about it. So we, 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 you know, um, so yeah, man, it's, 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 it's really, it's really, uh, it's really messed up, man. It's really messed up how this man come off like he's the good guy and he paint this picture like we're the bad guys. You know, um, so, so I had to, uh, put this video out, man, because, you know, it's, it, it needs to be said. But I'm sick and tired that they that these people bang on Pan-Africans, and all we do is promote love and structure. We promote love and structure. We need structure. You know? And, she's, and I believe that she's a good woman. She took care of this man. This man didn't have nothing. This man, it was a bum. And you're going to abuse this woman? Break her things? Harass her? Threaten her life? And I believe that he even, I think, I believe that 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 she said, I don't want to be used as a punching bag. So, it's, it's so, it's so it had to be some physical abuse, abuse there too. But he'll come off talking about, oh, he loved his soul sisters. No, you don't. You're a fraud, Talik. Lauren, Ra Lauren Ray, whatever your name, real name is. He's a fraud. So we gotta we gotta expose these fakes. You know, we gotta expose them. So I just had to bring some awareness to our people. 
because this is this is not going to be tolerated. I'm not I'm not going to tolerate it, and I'm not going to tolerate the slander um, of good people, righteous people. So you know, so um, just want to just just want to share that. Uh, let's look at these comments real quick. Uh, let me see. Blah, 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 blah. So I just want to just thanks for everybody to uh, to tune in. Miss um, Life Lessons, uh, Maurice Muhammad, Erica, uh, thanks for tuning in. Um, but um, yeah, but just but just be aware of these loony coons that try to come off like they they're the good guys and they're they're the ones that's abusing women. They're the, the hateful people, the, the real sewer rats, you know. Um, right, exactly. He's the evil one. Brother Maurice, he, he you know, she, she you, I don't know if you saw, but she showed the, 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 um, the restraining order. And he's still harassing this woman, even to this day. Even to this day, and he even he's talking to Alquan, and he said, "Oh, brother, I didn't have nothing." He said, "He said I was doing bad," and so she, she helped him, cleaned him up, and remind you he was in the NOI that he hates so much. She even caught him looking at pornography, while he was in the NOI. Okay, looking at porn while she, you know, sleeping with the daughter, you know, threatening her life, told mama beat your ass and all this other stuff. But then he'll come off banging on us. And she even said this man should be taking his medications, taking his 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 meds. So we're not going to have that. And anybody that deals with them, any Pan Africans that's deal with them, you know what I'm saying? We 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 we, we you know, they're gonna get shitted on too. Cause because why would you want to even associate with people like that? No person be still showing on on a woman that abuses women, and then come off like they're the good guys. You know, so we we cannot have that. We cannot have that. I don't I don't like that. I don't like to hear. You know, I don't like to hear good women. You know, uh, saying things like that. You know, because that that pisses me off. Because now it's like, damn, dude, like, you know, that woman's a that woman's been good to you, and this is how you treat her. And I know she's a good woman, and then you going. And they're going to attack her about her weight. Oh, she's a big woman and all this other stuff. He's going to make fun about her weight. But that, well, yeah, but that big woman, first of all, there's nothing wrong with no big woman. There's nothing wrong with no big. I, look, I, I don't discriminate when it comes down to our sisters being thick, big, or whatever. They, you know, I don't, I don't, I don't care about none of that. It's all about character. You know. So, you know, this man. Hates women, but he come off talking, you know, talking about, oh, I love my soul sisters. And then he'll make another, probably see this video, he'll make a video and justifying it. That's what he does. Just another loony coon, another loony coon video, and he'll sit there and justify it. Talking about we wasn't really married, you know, and all this other craziness. You heard what she said. She sold the ring. She didn't want nothing to do with him. The man wasn't following the teachings. So my thing is like this. Why would you, why would you even get into the nation of Islam knowing that, you know, you know, knowing the rules, you knew the rules. You knew the rules, but you're looking at pornography. You're slandering your wife. You're abusing your wife. 
We Pan-Africans, we don't do that. You know, we don't do that. We cherish our women. You're supposed to cherish your wife. Especially if she's done good, she's she's done right by you. You cherish your wife. You know, Brother Muhammad, I don't know if you heard me, but I said that when we went to Philly, you said the most beautiful thing, the be beautiful message to your wife. So it was so warming. That's what, but that's what Pan-Africans do. And I love that. I love to hear stuff like that. You know, brother, if you go back to listen to you see say the most beautiful things to 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 Queen Muhammad. But just hearing this with this, but with Patricia Robinson, when he said about what Talik done to her, man, it's it's you know that's crazy. And, and she was there was he was in there was in the nation of Islam. You don't do that. You're supposed to cherish your wife, cherish your queen. But he's abusing her. Then he's trying to now. He, now he's trying to pretend like he's this saint. We can't have that. We can't have that. Okay. Hotep, uh, Nubian Gold, Hotep. You know, we can't, we can't have that. So sisters, I want to bring this awareness to you about doing background checks on these people. I don't care if it's your friends. I don't care if who you get involved with. Do background checks. You got to do background checks. Talk to their families. You know, you know, I don't believe in settling. I don't. I don't believe in settling. You know, I dated girls with children and and it wasn't for me. It just wasn't for me. You know, I don't want to settle. I, I want to have my own children. You know what I mean? That's just me. You know what I'm saying? That's just me. And I'm not saying these women were bad, but I'm just saying that I didn't want, I just want something that was right for me. That's all I'm saying, you know? And, um, you know, don't settle. Don't settle because you feel sorry for a, a man. You know, as Talik didn't have nothing. He was a bum. And this woman took care of him, put him in her house. Okay, he was living off of her. And after he got what he wanted, after he got, he, 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 he mistreated her. And this man's a criminal. He says he, he, he committed a crime to the point they put it there to put him in a crazy house in a prison. I don't know what crime he did. I, I, I couldn't, I don't. I'm trying to find, I'm trying to even trying to investigate that. What type of crime that he did? So I will investigate that. I want to know what crime that he did. Because that needs to be exposed. The man is a criminal. He's a woman abuser. Uh 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 he, he, he's 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 a he's a loony coon. I would say don't fall. For the trick, but he's getting these views because he's talking about black people, pro blacks. Well, I'll tell you what, pro blacks, we're pro blacks, we're about pro love as well. Because if you're pro black, guess what? We don't, you won't never find no video of some woman saying they had to get a restraining order on us. You will never find no girlfriend or no wives doing that. Yes, if a guy doesn't get along with his family, especially his mom, and a lot of times I don't think, I don't like to date him. Every time that happens with me, it was because his family was sick of him. That's true. That's true. That's true. <laughs> That's right, Bob. That's right, Marie. That's right. But if you haven't seen it, Maurice, just just rewind, just uh, look back on the video and listen what she says. It was horrifying, you know. This man was a really abusive dude, and then she was a good woman. I believe her. You could tell she was a good woman. You know, you don't hurt good people, and then he come off, and then 
And then, it, it, I mean, I mean, it, you know, I'm not going to I mean, this man hates women. And then he gets mad because he sees the love between my brother Muhammad and his wife. He going to talk about the brother's wife like that. I don't like that. I don't like that. I'm still mad at that. Now I see why he don't like women. The man is, he, he's, like I said, he rather had a, another, another dude in his house sleeping together. I don't like that. I don't. You gonna abuse another woman? Let me see, mess with me like that, Talik. Lauren Ray, whatever your goddamn name is, mess with me like that. You want to threaten women? Threaten me. You punk. You don't do that. You don't do that. I don't like that. You know, and that video, and, and the reason I had to play, because that video was brought to me. That was, it was, uh, you know, somebody sent me that, uh, Somebody told me about that video, and I, I didn't know. I, I, I was I, I didn't know that it was somebody that um um but exactly Erica. Uh, most gay men hate women. That's true. That's true. You're right about that. Oh, oh definitely, definitely. Uh, 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 Queen Muhammad is a, is a good woman. Maurice ain't gonna let. Trust me, brother. Maurice ain't he, he ain't leaving her. He ain't gonna. He ain't gonna. He, trust me. He, Maurice, no. <laughs> My brother, no. Yo, he, he, he ain't leaving her. He ain't leaving a good woman. He ain't gonna mistreat her either. I know my brother Maurice. See, that and she's a good woman. She's a good woman. She's a good woman. You know. You know. And uh, like I said, we like I said, we we cherish our women. We cherish our women. We don't leave good women. We don't mistreat good women. It's hard, and let me tell you, it's hard to find a good woman. It's like it's for the sisters. It's hard to find a good a, a good brother for the sisters. Okay, because a lot of us, you know, have been somewhat damaged. You know, whatever have you. You know, we come from you know uh, uh, dysfunctional homes, but you know, some of us, you know, you know, we are, are looking for real love. But this man had had it good. He had it good. And he ruined that. He ruined that. That's right. That's right, Nubian. Nubia go. That's right. Maurice found a gym. You're right. Queen Muhammad. That's right. She's a good woman. He's that she's a really good woman. But I, don't, I just don't like the fact that this man talked about his wife, talked about um, uh, Queen, uh, Queen Muhammad like that. I just don't like that. And it bothered me. And I just, and I'm glad I, ex, you know, you know, exposed him for who he really is. His ex, uh, Talik's ex-wife, said this man was dangerous. I didn't say that. I'm not making it up. This Patricia Robinson said it. You know. And you know, and, and it hurts me. When you, when it, it, it hurts me when I hear hear things like that, because no woman should be mistreated. No good woman should be mistreated. No good woman. I'm sorry. Yeah, I believe he beat his wife, and he say he say he threatened us. He threatened her too. Slept with her daughter. That's right. Watching pornography, and remind you. He was a member of the. Remember, they was in a member. They were both a member of the Nation of Islam, which, 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 which to me, he, he broke. He broke. He broke the laws. This man committed fornication. Ain't, well, ain't brother Maurice? Ain't fornication? It's the. It's, it's against one of the rules that you don't do. Because they were still married, you know. They were still married when he cheated on his wife. So he cheated on his wife with her daughter. This is what this, this is what this, this is what this sewer rat did. So he can never say anything against us ever again. He need to be quiet. He need to be quiet. 
He need to be quiet. Yes. You know, she said that videos is his, his therapy. I don't have no problem with him making videos. But when you make videos bashing Pan-Africans, I have a problem with that because we don't mistreat our women. We don't. We love our sisters. And we love good sisters. We don't. We, we might not love the ratchet ones. <laughs> I don't like ratchet women. I don't. I stay away from them. But we love good sisters because good people should not be mistreated. Let me say this again. Good people should never be mistreated. And she's and 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 and, and Talik's wife said that she said that I'm a good woman. And I believe her. And I believe that she was cooking for this man, giving him some all types of some good loving. Who gonna pass for that? Well no, but they're gonna she gonna he gonna talk about his her weight and all this other stuff. Just this this bad mouth in this woman. And he was talking to that faceless shows uh Alquan. You know, I don't I don't I don't understand that. But you gonna get he's gonna get jealous and talk about somebody else's wife. Threaten a woman's life. To the point she had to get a restraining order. And she showed the proof. She said she even got the recordings. She got the text messages that 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 he was he was he was uh making threats and stuff like that. So we can't we we can't um we can't we can't allow that. We can't allow that. No more. No more. No more. You know, so I, I had to let let our people know that we're not going to tolerate that. And then, like I said, he'll probably make a video, he'll probably see this and make a video. And then he'll probably justify um, uh, 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 and make another diss video about about me. And 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 and, and, and uh, he'll justify why he's not with his wife, ex-wife. And, and like I said, she, she got the proof. She showed the proof that this man was stalking her and harassing her. And 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 threaten threaten her, threaten her life, you know. So he can't lie about that because she showed evidence. So you know, en enough is enough. And um, I just had to. Um, I don't want to make this a long video, but I just want to show the people um, the hypocrisy of the of these people that bang, that try to 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 bang on Pan Africans. I don't like that. And these people, these people coming from a, a dark place. You know, these people coming from a place of, of these are the evil ones. These are the sewer rats. And if you go 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 do some background checks, these people have a past. These people don't even practice what they preach. Beating on women and threatening their lives and all this other stuff. But they tell us that we're no good. That we are the evil ones, and we are the worst. How is that? How is that? Prove it. If you are the worst, prove it. Show show our wives saying that we harassed them. Show our wives that we are the ones that 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 threaten them and sleeping with their children and sleeping with their sister and all that. Show that proof. Show that proof, Talik. If you're watching. So. Um, I just want to throw that out there, man. Um, but yeah, so um, yeah, so you know, the, you know, I, I sent the video to Brother Maurice how him and um, Alquan, you know, they talking about it and laughing and giggling and 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 and, and all of a sudden Alquan, they they best buddy of buddy. But like, again, these are the people. These are they went back and forth, dissing each other, and now. This clown, this loony coon, you know, he's the one that trying to make fun and 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 talking about people and and and, and talking about people's uh, how they people look and all that stuff. I never talked about this. Let me tell you something. I never talked about Talik's features. I never talked about Talik's features. But he talked about mine. I never talked about his loved ones. But he 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 has no problem talking about other people. So we we're not going to tolerate that. We're not going to tolerate that. So 
he just been exposed. And like I say, anybody that joins him, you know, I don't want to have nothing to do with them. I don't want to have nothing to do with them. I don't want them coming on my panel or nothing like that. Because if, because like I said, you are the company that you keep. And if you are down with that, uh, uh, and a woman abuser, I don't want to have nothing to do with that. I hate women beaters. I hate men that that verbally ab uh, abuse women. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't get down with that. And I'm talking about good women who don't deserve it. I'm talking about good sisters, our sisters who don't deserve it. I don't. You know, who's living a good life, a righteous life, who don't deserve any type of mistreatment, and vice versa. I don't, I don't like any sisters. I don't like no black woman uh, talking bad about good brothers. We, we, I don't, I don't like that. No one should be abusing nobody. All right. So, uh, thanks to the chat um, for watching. Uh, but anybody who haven't seen it, you know, just rewind it and and just take take a look, see for yourself. All right. And if any y'all want to make any comments, you know, put your comments down. Tell me what you think. All right. And um, just uh, and give your thumbs up and share it. Share it if you have to, because this is this is serious. This is serious. You know, we, we don't we don't do um, we you know, as far as Pan-African people, we don't play that. We don't we don't uh, 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 engage in, in, into that into that wickedness like that. You know, we don't we don't abuse our wives. We don't do that. And then come off like we're the like we're like we're the angel. You know, I don't I, you know, we don't play that. Okay. Um, of course, Nubia. Of course, they they don't. They don't. They don't respect race first. Because if you love your race, you're gonna respect. You're gonna respect your people. You're gonna res you're gonna you know you're gonna re respect your reflection. You're gonna respect your reflection. If you look in the mirror, don't you love yourself when you look in the mirror? So if you look at your own, that's your reflection. I love my reflection. So, so uh, race first, black first, of course, African first. I'm African first, because African means black. Black means African. They, they, they you know, they, 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 the, the Kemet was called the land of the blacks, or black land. So, you know, I mean, we, we definitely be one all day. Marcus Garvey said, he said that pit race first. I agree. I agree. A lot of these, a lot of these black people are separatists. They like to separate themselves and unify with the enemy. You know, mistreat, why would, you know, you mistreat your woman, you mistreat your woman. You may, you may, but but you want to make deals with the enemy. You know you want to be nice to the enemy, but you want to mistreat your woman that take care of you. I don't respect no black man, and I want to definitely talk about this Kobe thing, because he 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 didn't marry a black woman. Matter of fact, he left a black woman to get with that white chick, and they try to build him up like he's some saint. I respect him as a ball player. I respect them as a ball player, but nothing. But 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 outside of that, I can't. You know, I don't. I don't respect them as personal life. You know. You know. You 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 know. You don't. Re, you you know. You got two black black parents, and you couldn't marry. You know, a, a woman that reminds you of your mother. I I don't I don't get it. You say there was no good sisters in your life, that you had to go. But then I can understand. Because Colby used to live in Italy. No, he wasn't. You're absolutely right. He wasn't, he wasn't B1. And matter of fact, he said that his heart was in Italy because he used to live in Italy. He loved, and that woman, if you notice that he was with, she looked more Italian. You know, she looked more Italian. So he loved those Italian white women. 
So, but he came from black parents. Of course she's pretty. Of course. And you know, him and, and you know, Kobe and him and, and Brandy used to used to date, but they claimed they wasn't dating, they were just friends, but they look like a nice couple. So you mean to tell me he couldn't marry he, he couldn't marry Brandy? As pretty as pretty as she is? Hmm. Successful? I, I don't get it. I don't get it. I don't understand that. You know. So we we gotta we, you know I don't you know we 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 cannot tolerate disrespect when it comes down uh, any uh, when it comes down to a black man disrespecting a sister, especially if that's your wife. You know, and she's doing if she's done good right. You know, um, so I just I just I just I just can't I just can't deal with that man I just can't. So. Um, well, like I said, let me let me um just want to say thanks to the chat. You know, like I said, I didn't want to make this too long, but it's over an hour, and um I might do a video uh probably tomorrow. And I want to talk about this Kobe situation um because it's going to be real deep. And I I was going to do it last week. I don't know what happened. I was I know I was pretty tied up last week. Um, but we definitely going to um. We definitely going to chop it up with that. Yeah, yeah, you're right, you're right. But we're definitely going to chop it up tomorrow. I'm definitely, I'm going to try to get the brothers on the panel. So Maurice, Muhammad, if you're available, let's let's get together tomorrow, man. Let's chop it up. Let's chop it up. All right. But yeah, but anybody who haven't seen this video, um, after after I end it, just take a look at it. If you you know, write your comments. Um, tell me what you think, um, and, and and share it, man. Just just share it, you know, because this this this, you know, we I don't tolerate women beaters. I don't I don't tolerate women women abusers. I don't I don't deal with that. And I'm talking about a, a people that's abusing good people, good women. I don't tolerate that. I don't tolerate. And then they come off like this. They did like they're the real angel. I don't I don't tolerate that. So. Uh, Thanks to the chat. Uh, I, I really appreciate um, y'all. I really appreciate y'all the best. Um, but um, I'm trying to, I'm gonna hopefully I get with my brothers tomorrow. We're going to talk about this Kobe situation because it's going to be a deep, definitely a deep program. Um, but I just I had to, I had to play this video to, to bring some awareness to our sisters and please do background checks. Just do background checks on these Negroes, man, because these Negroes, come off like they're the saints and they really uh, are wolves on this uh, sheep clothing. All right. So peace and love. And I'll see y'all. I'll see y'all tomorrow. Later. Hotep family, this is your RBG brother, Guy Nollywood Jr., and coming to you another real, you know, live video. Um, you know, I was reading, you know, um, I was reading something what made me, uh, what inspired me to do this video. And I was reading, you know, you know, I'm not a religious person. I'm not a religious person, um, but I would say one of the best books that I like to read in the Bible is Proverbs. I love Proverbs. One of the things, one of the uh, scriptures that I read was Proverbs 22. Uh, Proverbs uh, 20, uh, 22, chapter 22, verse 24. In 25, it says, don't make friends 
with people who have hot, violent tempers. You might learn their habits and not be able to change. Let me read that again. Proverbs 22, verse 24, 25. Don't make friends with people who have hot, violent tempers. You might learn their habits and not be able to change. And the reason why Sorry about that. Okay. The reason why I um the reason why I said that because it's it's you know, it's just uh individual from the crazy house and he decided to keep making videos about um you know, uh, just attacking the RBG nation, attacking the Black First Movement. And remind you, I'm thinking when we was all together, when we had Brother Bakari and Maurice, I thought we was all cool. I thought everything was was over. But this guy is still making videos and stuff like that. And just, you know, I, I, you know, and I realize you can't make friends with people like who just, who just got a nasty, who just have a lot of hatred. You can't, you know, have a lot of self hate. You can't make friends with people like that. And this individual named Talik Amarad, who has an Arab name, he might call him, uh, sometimes you, you, you might know him as Angel Snup Snup Seven. This dude was the cause, and I want I want to make this perfectly clear. He was the cause of the uh, and the instigator of between me and brother Maurice Beef, right? He was the cause of the beef between me and brother Maurice Muhammad. And I'm going to tell you what happened to me in the past. I, um, and now I'm going to relate, relate it to the situation that happened last year. Um, in the summer of 2006, and between 2006 and 2008, um, I got into an altercation and I got into a physical fight. 2006, um, it was this guy named Stuart who, he was a, a co-worker and I didn't have no problem with Stuart. I didn't have no problem with Stuart. Me, I thought me and Stuart was cool. There was another individual named Eli, and he was a temp. He was a he was a temp, wasn't making no money. But these guys, when you look at these guys, these guys act like they from the streets, and these guys was, you know, you would think these guys were 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 big bad, you know, big bad dudes. And but Stuart was a drunk. He was a drunk. And we was in, uh, remember in the summertime, we was invited, uh, another colleague of mine, um, he's no longer, he retired, but um, he invited us to Long Island. He had a nice pool in the back, beautiful home, and he invited everybody, you know, from the people from the job to, to his house. That was on a weekend. And... Um, we all we all got there, you know. Even I was contacting Stuart. I was like, hey, you know, just checking on him, see if he's on his way, blah blah blah, this and that. 
And, you know, everything was good. But he, I didn't, but of course he was, he was twisted when he got to the, got, got to the house. So, you know, I'm talking to another colleague and he said something that was very disrespectful, Stuart. Stuart said something to me, said something, uh, not really to me, but he was saying things that I didn't like. He was slandering me. So I told him to chill with that. You know, I'm not, you know, whatever you saying is, you know, I'm, I'm not like that, whatever, whatever, whatever. So I think it was over. And he said it again. And this time I blew up. I blew up. He didn't like it. So the so steward got in my face. So we was about to throw down. We was about to we was about to fight. Well, I was ready to fight. You know, he he just stood there. He looked like he didn't know what to do. But he got in my face, and you know I you know he got in my face. I got up. You know I was sitting down at the time. I got up and I was like, Yo, what's up? And I was about to, you know, I threw up my hands. I was like, yo, let's, let's do it. But, of course, people got involved. They broke it up. And I guess Stu didn't like the fact that I stood up for myself. But I didn't know at, at, at the long way he was jealous of me. I didn't, I didn't know why. So, so I asked Eli. You know, because I didn't have no problem with Eli. I thought me and Eli was cool. And I said, yo, E, what's up with the, what, what's up with this dude? Like, you know, because, you know, Eli was, you know, rolling with him. He was getting tight with him. So he was like, no, man, leave it alone, man. Leave it alone. So I kind of knew right there he already took sides. So I'm like, all right. When we got back to the job that Monday, then the harassment starts. Stuart starting to harass me on the job. You know, so I was just like, okay, what's up? You know, you know, so he didn't want to, he didn't want to do nothing. So he started to coach Eli. Now, remind you, Stuart was in his, he was pushing 50. He was like in his late forties. At the time I was in my early thirties. I think I was like 32. Eli was probably in his mid thirties. So he was in, he was in that 30 age range. So everybody started gassing him up and, you know, and he started coaching Eli and say, yeah, if I was you, I would do this and do this. So, but Eli look at it like, well, well, I'm on your side, telling Stuart. I'm on, he was, he was taking Stuart's side. Make a long story short, uh, one day, I think around this, that's lasted, you know, till 2008. And me and Eli had gotten into a fight. Stuart knew this because we went, we was like, a, we went, a, a, one of the colleagues would sometimes get together and we would go on a, a the boat ride that take us around, you know, uh, the city. And we would have free tickets. And Eli came on the boat. You know, he came on the boat and I'm like, wow, okay. So in the meantime, doing before we had that fight, you know, I was trying to talk to him. I was like, yo, man, I don't got no beef with you. I got only got I only get my beef was with Stuart. But Eli looked at it like, well, that's my book, that's my that's my homie, and and you know, he's gonna ride with him. And if you if you got a beef with him, you got beef with me. So I said, okay, if you want to take his ass whipping. Okay, so be it. So we got into a fight. In 2008, we had a physical fight. And that fight only lasted, the, what, that fight only lasted for two minutes. That fight only lasted for two minutes. That's how quick the fight was. And um, I didn't know, and see, 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 because, uh, and, the, the reason how he did it after the, the boat came to, to came back and uh, to his destination, you know, I was trying to go, I was trying to leave the park and somebody said, yo, watch your back. And he, the Eli sucker punched me. 
And you know, one thing when I'm in rage, I black out. When I'm in rage, I black out. I don't I don't care about nothing. I don't care about getting arrested. I don't care about getting, you know, whatever. So I just know, I just know I last thing last thing I remember, I just remember having this dude on the ground and he was crying. And like I said again, you know, people were shocked, right? You know, it, it, it was a quick fight. Stewart wasn't even there, but he knew the fight was going to pop off. And there was another guy named Curtis there. And when Curtis, he went back and told Stewart, he said, he said, yo, Stu, you know, uh, he told Stuart that me and Eli had to fight. So Stuart said, oh, word? Well, well, who won the fight? So Curtis said, well, I don't, I, 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 uh, well, looking on Eli's face, he looks defeated. He was really messed up. I mean, his guy was bleeding from the, uh, from the eyes and the nose. He's, I mean, he was really bruised up, but he said he was telling Stuart he didn't see how I look. So Stuart said, well, go back and see. And and and, and to, he told, so Stuart told Curtis to, to check on me, see, to see what, to see if I got any bruises on my face. Now, now I didn't have any bruises. I didn't have no cuts, nothing on my face. I was like Muhammad Ali. I was looking pretty. So when Curtis saw my face, he was looking all in my face to see if I got any scratch on my face. And he couldn't find that because I was telling Curtis, I was like, what are you looking at? He was like, oh, no, 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 I'm just checking, you know. And, and then when he went back to Stuart, he said, he said, damn, man, you know, I, 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 you know, I saw homie's face and he didn't have, he didn't have nothing on his face, no cuts, nothing, no bruises. So Stuart said, and I'm going to tell you exactly what Stuart said. He said, well, I'm out of it. He told Curtis, he said, he didn't have no, he didn't have no problems with me. He said that I, he was only playing. So he said, oh, that's between me. He told, he said, oh, that's between, he said, oh, that was between me and Eli. He said, that was Eli's problem. So he left his home, he left his, he put his own homeboy under the bus. Left them out to dry. His hands, he 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 was out of it. He stayed out of it. Even when Eli came to him for some backup, he refused to help Eli out. And the beef wasn't even about Eli. It was about me and Stuart. But Stuart, me and Stuart did not fight. He was out of it. Let's fast forward. Let's fast forward. This angel snuffs up, coward. When that whole shit down, when it, when when he was on, when he uh, set Craig up to bash Brother Muhammad, you know, you know, all that was he he used that platform because he knew that it was going to break up. The, the 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 unity among the brothers. And my brother Maurice Muhammad, peace to him, he had every right to be upset. My brother had every right to be upset. And when brother when brother Muhammad was upset with Craig with Brother Craig, uh, Talik, he was out of it. He was out of it. He didn't defend Craig. He left Craig out to dry. He could have came on the. He could have came on the panel, and he could have said. He could have told Maurice. He could have said, "Yo, yo, that's not Craig's fault." I, I, you know, I'll take the heat for it. Let me come on your panel. I'll take the heat. Did he come on the panel? 
No, he sat there and watched the whole thing and watched Craig take the fall. And soon that me and brother Muhammad, and he knew it was going to affect me, as soon as me and brother Muhammad started beefing, all of a sudden, Talik stopped making videos about Maurice. And then he started talking about other things. All of a sudden, he was out of it. He didn't want to be involved. He didn't want to be involved. And he was hoping. And he didn't give a fuck that the, the intensity of that beef, you know, to the point that lives was being threatened. He was looking at two warriors. And 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 only thing Talik was waiting was who was going to share the first blood. And then he'll turn around and and if anybody and if, if one of us had shared the first blood, uh, uh Talik would just make a video saying, Well, see how those pro blacks are? You see how they kill each other? He was waiting. He was no different than that William O'Neill that set up Fran Hampton and Mark Clark. He's no different. The man has a hatred for unity. He has a hatred. And I want to say this out here. I want to just say this before I forget to my brother Bakari. Brother Bakar, if you're listening, if you have, if you ever have Angel Snuffs up on your panel, please do not invite me on your panel with that nutcase. I don't want to have nothing to do with him. Because the man was a the man is a coward. Because my thing is like this: if you had all that shit to say, how come you didn't say it? Angel Snup Snup, if you're listening, Talik Amarad. If you have all that shit to say about the RBG nation and Black First Movement, if you have all that shit to say, how come you didn't say it when I was on Brother Bakari's panel? Where was that big talk then, punk? So I want to say peace to my brother uh, Bakari, and I hope he's listening, but um, I will not no longer. Uh, I can't. I can't be on that panel. Be on your panel if. If that nutcase is on it. I, I'm, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna be. I can't speak for my brother Maurice, but I'll just say, don't please don't invite me on your panel if you got that nutcase on there. I don't want to have nothing to do with him. I try to be nice. I thought I was being brotherly, but as obvious, this man is still hurting. He's still hurting, but I don't care. He's still he's still hurting, but that's that's not my problem. He need a man up and take his ass whipping. Because it was because of that monster that had me and my, had, had me fighting with my brothers. He had me and Craig fight. He had me and brother Muhammad fighting. Those are my brothers. And thanks to brother Craig, me, I got, you know, me and, um, uh, me and my brother Muhammad made amends. We came, we came together as brothers again, thanks to brother Craig. So I want to just share that with you. But I'm going to screen share and address a couple of things. I want to screen share. I want to address a couple of things uh, with this nutcase has said, because I want to just straighten this shit out. I have to straighten this shit because if something bothers me, I'm going to address it. I'm going to address it. Okay, first, let me see if I can screen share this real quick. Just give me one second. 
Okay. Um, okay, I'm just going to screen share this real quick. Okay. Now I'm going to, I'm going to, this is where his video was called RBG Black First are Two Faced Negroes. Now he's already, now I already know who he was talking about. He was talking about me and Brother Muhammad. And this is what he said. This is what he said to show that he has love for swirling in a, in a homosexual lifestyle. Let me see if I can cut this up. Here we go. Technical difficulty. So what I was saying, if you so damn black first, then why don't you concentrate on the person being black first? I'm going to say that again. If you black first, then why don't you concentrate on a person being black first? Talk about their education or they gay or they married to a white man or white woman. Who gives a damn? You're supposed to be black first. This shows that how they are a bunch of hypocrites. Now he said that this moron said it doesn't matter if they're if the person is 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 gay or uh if they swirling we supposed to be as long as they're black we supposed to accept them we supposed to accept them now i'm going to show you his contradictory because he said so represent life okay now first of all he said so don't have no color he said so don't have no color so if so don't have no color then why the hell you gonna come out your mouth and say and you and your but your title says so is the best identity to describe black people black is a color so soul, that means according to him, anybody could be called soul. They call they said Elvis had soul. They said Tinny Marie. That means black, yellow, red. Anybody can have soul. Soul don't have no color. And then he said, soul is the essence of life. Now I'm gonna rep I'm gonna play you because this is coming from him. I don't make commentaries. I back up, I show receipts. I show receipts. Okay. So I'm going to let me play this. Let me um screen share this real quick. See, I show receipts. Where's that one at? Um Let me see something. So I'll show receipts. So I'm going to play this and listen to what he says. You think that you're different from them. You're not. You're the same. Soul takes us up out of racism because soul has no color. It's the essence of life. There you go. He says soul has no color. So if soul don't have no color, then what the hell you say that soul is the best identity to describe black people? That means anybody can be called soul. So he's a, he's showing that he's an integrationist. Now, let's go back. Let's go back to the soul crap. He says soul is the essence of life. Soul is the essence of life. Homosexuality don't give life. 
if you if you claim it's the essence of life, then why are you representing homo? Why are you representing black people who practices homosexuality? Now you want to talk about ancient? Then you want to ridicule and bash and make mockery of people who studying their 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 history, studying their uh, African roots or African uh, 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 culture, like uh, ancient Kemet, where the Egyptians and pharaohs practice spirituality, where sp spirituality is nothing but energy that creates what? Life. Didn't African people worship the sun or praise the sun? Because what does the sun does? It is a ball of energy that creates life. Without the sun, nothing grows. Without the sun, we don't get we won't get vitamin D. Water is another form of life that creates life. The soil that creates life. Okay. The the wind, the air gives life because without it, we won't we would die. Those are the four elements. These are energies that creates life. But you're talking about homosexuality and well, you, you're supposed to be black first. It doesn't matter if they're homosexuality. Whoa, wait a minute. Our people don't practice homosexuality. That's not black first. Then you want to make mockery and bash and ridicule the RBG, the RBG nation. You want to make fun where the RBG nation represent the, the trinity of the black woman and the black, the black, the, the African man and the African woman that reap, that produce what? Life, which is the child. So how is it you're going to make mockery of that and bash? You're contradictory. You should embrace it. If you claim that soul is the essence of life, well, don't we rep, don't RBG represent life? Don't we represent the African man, the, 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 or, or the African man, the woman and child? You know, you want to talk about ancient Kemet and bash ancient Kemet. Ancient Kemet is spirituality, which is nothing, which is energy that, that creates life. I'm going to play this again. Let me play this again. Because everything that come out your mouth, oh, the melanin. I'm perfectly happy in my own skin because I'm free because I'm independent. I don't need your happy ass. Let me, let me, um, let me play this again. Uh, okay, I move back a little bit. Trapped in the race garbage, and when you talk, you sound like a racist wannabe because everything that come out your mouth. Oh, the melanin, and we great because of the black skin and what these dark skin people. You sound like like them, racist, and they know it. You're nothing but a dark skin version of them. You think that you're different from them. You're not. You're the same. Soul takes us up out of racism because soul has no color. It's the essence of life. So soul don't have no color. But he says it should be good. So it should be a, a good description to call black people. But black is a color. The word human, if you take, if you break the word you and man, H U E means color, means melanin. That's what you means. But he said so don't have no color. Is if you represent life, then why would you bash ancient Kemet? 
who practice spirituality that pra- that pra- that 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 is pro life. Why would you bash the RBG Nation, which is pro life? I'm a little confused. Now I'm going to. I'm going to um, move on to this one. Let me close this out. Okay, give me one second. And I'm going to screen share something else. And I'm going to break this up a little bit. And um, because this is, you know, I just want to clear things up. I have to clear things up. Let me see, where was that one? Uh, okay. Now, this is another video where he's where he's uh, accusing of the RBG Nation flagging his videos. First of all, nobody ain't flagging your videos. Nobody's not even re- nobody's not really watching your videos. The only reason why I came upon these videos because of word of mouth. Of word of mouth. Nobody watching your videos. Nobody don't give a damn about your videos. Because your video, because like I said, when you when you when you pass away, your videos will pass away with you. You mean nothing. So, so this is the type of rhetoric that he's saying to make him feel like he's a victim. Oh, these RBG names, oh, these pro-blacks, oh, they they flagging my video. Who's flagging your video? You ain't saying shit. You ain't saying nothing important for for us to flag your videos. You know what I'm saying? So um, I want to I want to play this, and I'm going to chop it up a little bit, and I'm going to go back. Let me see. Um, you go back here. Want to make sure I got got it down pat. Okay, here we go. You know those ships. And okay, in this in this one, he bashes Marcus Garvey. He bashed Marcus Garvey. He, he he don't like Marcus Garvey. He's Marcus Garvey is one of the, the one of our uh, who one of our ancestors who set the foundation of, of consciousness. And like my brother Bakari said, Marcus Garvey is a prophet. He's our prophet. And he totally bashed Marcus Garvey. The disrespect. It's unbelievable. And this is what he says about the ships that Marcus Garvey had produced. But the reality of it was Marcus Garvey was incompetent. The reality of it was they bought some ships that should have been at the junkyard, the ship junkyard. Now, you heard what he said? He said Marcus Garvey was incompetent. Marcus Garvey bought some ships that should have been in the junkyard. Now, my question is, how the fuck would you know? Were you there? Did you see the ships? Did you, did you, did you, did you, uh, uh, took pictures of the ships to see if it, it, it really looked like it supposed to be in the junkyard? How would you know? You wasn't there. You didn't go inside, but this is the put down that he that he that he that uh, that he says because you got to understand this crazy man wants to be he wants to be popular he wants to be known he wants to be famous and he don't like it. Where everybody that's getting all this attention and he's not, he's making all these videos 
making all these controversies just to get attention, just to get views. Now I'm going to replay you what he says again about what he said about Marcus Garvey. The, the, the hatred is unbelievable. Very proud. I would be proud too. You know, those ships. But the reality of it was Marcus Garvey was incompetent. Let me let me go back. Let me let me go back. Let me, was, let me go back. let me go back. Hold on, hold on. Let me go back. They bought three ships. Now, what they don't tell us on the outside, it looked all good. And you know, brothers and sisters, during that time, they was very proud. I would be. So he was saying how, from the outside, that he said Marcus Garvey bought three ships. He said how on the outside, it looks really good. But if it if it looks good, why would it be in a in a junkyard? If it looks good, I'm, I'm a little confused. But listen to what he says about Marcus Garvey. Proud too. You know those ships. But the reality of it was, Marcus Garvey was incompetent. The reality of it was. They bought some ships that should have been at the junkyard, the ship junkyard. Scrap. They should have been made into scrap metal. These these pecker wood, because you know we don't see. He's putting these ships down. He said it should have been. It should have been in a junkyard. It should have been scrap metal. Now, why would you say that? Now, you notice he didn't talk about the Titanic like that. I would say the Titanic was definitely scrap metal, the way that ship fell apart. It, it, it was built cheap. But why would you say that about Marcus Garvey ships? You know? And see, this is the self-hate. I cannot be around. One thing about this dude, he's a spirit killer. He kills your spirit. Our spirit is the is our spirit or spirituality give us energy to motivate us to want us to do better. Some of them, some of us are trying. We're trying. And you know what? Angel Snuff Snuff, he's not helping us. He's not joining forces and say, you know what? Let me help you. What do you need for me to help you? But no, he wanted to sit back, drive the white man's truck, drive the white man's product to his destination, making the white man richer and richer, and while he talked bad about his people. I'm going to show you another clip, another frame. Let me see if I can find it. Right around here. I want to go too far back. I'll stop right there. You know how silly they are. I don't have time for that kind of thing. Now, in this, in this frame, he talks about me. And he said something about we was about to be in some debate. And I called them all types of names and all this other stuff, which that's not true. That don't even sound like me. But I want you to hear what he said. Because I want to know what debate that he's talking about, and I want him to prove it. I want him to do some screen sharing like I'm doing. I want him to pull out his receipts. I tried to talk to this guy, this RBG Nation guy, Nollywood person, and before we could even get the get the debates. The conversation started. He starts crying and calling people coons and sambos and all these. But man, no, I don't have no time for that kind of stuff. Now I'm going to replay that again. I want people to hear what this idiot said, which is not true at all. Because I want to know. I want to know when this. What do you mean we we had a debate? When did this happen? 
you know, he has to pull out receipts. He has to show me proof. That don't even sound like something I would do. You know how silly they are. I don't have time for that kind of stuff. I tried to talk to this guy, this RBG Nation guy, Nollywood person, and before we could even get the get the debates, the conversation started, he starts crying and calling people cools and sambos and all these. Oh, man, no, I don't have no time for that kind of stuff. Now, first of all, that's not true at all. I don't know what he's talking about. He will have to show receipts. Other than that, he's just talking out his he's just talking out his ass. And I don't know if he still feel that he's still butt hurt of the eat because I ethered him in my last video. But it's obvious he's still hurt. He's still crying. He's still trying to, I guess, to 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 make a comeback. But but his arguments is weak. It's weak, okay? His arguments is totally weak. Now I'm gonna show you another frame. Let me see if I can find it right here. Uh, let me see something. Okay. These are the people that love us. Okay. Yeah. I get it. I will continue. Now listen, then listen what he says. Now you want to talk about hate and the venom. Listen what he says. Now watch this. Listen what he says. You start calling them names. You damn skippy. Speed warning. Because I don't love them. I don't like them. They're a bunch of pieces of trash. Now, who do you think he sound like? Don't he sound like Tommy Sotomayor? And matter of fact, he said, Matter of fact, he said he likes Tommy Sotomayor. He listens to Tommy Sotomayor. So this is the reason why he get this from. He get this hatred. When you hear Tommy Sotomayor, Tommy Sotomayor, when he got punched in the face, he said, I wish all these black men would get gunned down by the police. This is what he said. And he sound just like Tommy Sotomayor, he said he hates us. He said he has no love for us. Now this is what this is what he says. Let me play this again. This is the hatred because Tommy Sotomayor is his idol, and he's copying what Tommy Sotomayor is saying. Now, I'm going to play this again. These are the people that love us. Okay, yeah, I get it. I will continue to speak out against all this blackly black stuff. You stop calling them names. You damn skippy. Speed warning. Because I don't love them. I don't like them. They're a bunch of pieces of trash. He said, We have nothing but a bunch of pieces of trash. Wow. This man is on a verge of on some, like, he really has hatred. He has really has hatred. You know, this self hate is really. It's really bad. It's really, it's really, it's an academic among our people. And and we haven't, we haven't done that to this man. We haven't harmed this man. We haven't uh, uh, affect. We haven't done uh, affected his 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 income. 
We haven't tried to get him fired. We ain't trying to threaten his life. We mind I, 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 I mind my own business. I'm not even bothering this man. But he has hatred for me. He has hatred for Brother Muhammad or anybody that's trying to do good, that's trying to that that trying to do good and do right by our people. He don't like that. And he sound like he wants to do something about it. Okay? I'm going to play you another frame. I'm going to play you another frame. You see. Uh, let me see. Somewhere around here. Uh, uh, oh, I think I went back a little bit. Let's do it this way. I don't want to go too bad. Sisters was doing it anyway. The only thing that stopped them was them racist ass Pickerwoods in the South. That's what stopped them. Like many of the things that we try to do. These racists stop us. So when you make mockery of the Mississippi campaign, you're not, you're not making mockery of me. You make a mockery of the ancestors that you claim that you love. See, that goes to show you that these people are hypocrites. They don't know what the hell they're talking about. So he said that if I make once I you 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 he said something about if I'm you know I make mockery of the Mississippi campaign, I make a mockery of the answer. But you just made mockery of Marcus Garvey. You talked about the man's ships. You made mockery of Malcolm X. And now you're making mockery of Marcus Messiah Garvey. So I don't know what ancestors you could be talking about when you're the, doing, you're the one who's making ridicule of our ancestors. But maybe they're not your ancestors. I don't know who your ancestors are. Because definitely it's not Malcolm is just not your ancestors. My, uh, Marcus Garvey is not your ancestor. You may you made perfectly clear that because I'm not going to bash them. I'm not going to bash them. I would never come out my mouth talking about them. Uh, Marcus Garvey's ship should be in the, in the, in, the, in the, uh, should be scrap metal. I should I would never come out my mouth to say something like that. And I'm going to play this last frame here. Bunch of hypocrites. Everything about them they use come from the white man. Alquan, that troll Alquan just made it yo. And a white woman was an old white woman was parking a car. Now this in this frame, he talks about Alquan being with white women. But on the other hand, he just I just proved to you saying that, well, if you if you supposed to be black first, it doesn't matter if you're homosexual. It doesn't matter if 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 you're swirling, you should be about black first. So what does it matter if Alquan's mess with white women? According to him, it shouldn't even matter. And the only reason why that he's saying that is because I was the one who exposed it. Uh, I, I believe what, what uh, last year, early last year, I the one I was the one who exposed because him and Alquan used to be best friends. They used to be tight. And now he's running. Now he's taking. Now he's taking what I said. Or taking what I've done and he's running with it. But if you but but since you claim that you for your people, you claim you doesn't matter if they would if they swirling. So what if Alquan is messing with white women? You should be cool with it, according to you. 
but he wants to talk about Alquan and his white women. He stopped making his video to talk about the old white woman that's parking her car. He got to, he got to acknowledge them. Bunch of hypocrites. Construction ahead. So, so that's what that's what uh, he's he's uh, he's dissing Alquan about him being with white women. But the same token, he said he's he he's for all black people. Doesn't matter if you're swirling. Doesn't matter if you're homosexual. Sexual. So my question is, if you have a if you don't have a problem with swirling, Talik, Amarad, Angel Snup Snup, if you don't have a problem, well, why are you dissing Alquan and his white women? Who, 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 whoever he's sleeping with. Now, you, on the other hand, you're a homosexual because you got caught with that dude Ty Liv and you paid him to, to, to stay over your house. You didn't do, you didn't bring no woman over there. You paid him all the way from Nebraska to be with you. So to warm your bed. This is the reason why you don't have a problem with homosexuality. This is a problem you don't have with people with swearing. So why are you picking on Alquan and his white women? Doesn't make any sense to me. And I'm going to put on another frame here. And he mentioned Talif and that mammy chick who's who's totally confused, uh, Noble Levine or whatever her name is, Alberta, her, that's her real name, Alberta. But he don't even give Craig, no, and he don't even acknowledge Craig. I noticed that he do not acknowledge Craig. Now he gonna now see he he's gonna send a shout out, but he only gonna send a shout out for two people. To my partners in crime, Sister Noble, Levine, and and of course my our brothers, uh, our brother Talib. Let me play that again. Let me play that again. Now I remember that brother brother Craig you know was I guess really admired this dude and I've heard Craig said multiple times that you know he he loved watching Talik's videos I even remember that when Craig had gave him uh, had honored him. When and Craig did one of his videos, he had honored Talik. Now all of a sudden, Talik once again shitting on Craig, shitting on Craig. But this needs to be said. We have to strip that we're traveling. I want to send a shout out to uh to my partners in crime, Sister Noble, Levine, and and of course my our brothers, uh our brother Tali. And see, and that's all he mentioned. You know, so he didn't I'm very surprised he didn't mention Craig. Why he didn't mention Craig? Just I'm just wondering. I thought Craig was your boy. So I thought that was a slap in the face. I really thought that was a slap in the face. I want to put up another video where he talks about how the uh, 
how there are black people that he actually admitted because of his lack of research that black people worshiped over here as slaves and somehow landed in Mississippi. I'm going to pull up that video. Okay. Let me see something here. Okay. Um, let me delete, let me delete this. Just give me one second. I don't think I'm gonna make, I don't need this. And I don't need this. Okay. I'm gonna put up this video. And I want you to listen what he says and about um, about how Africans from uh, I believe was uh, Liberia and they landed in Mississippi. And once they were had a once they had a chance to, uh, and and then how they left Mississippi to go back home. Now, I want you to just listen to him. Listen to his. Listen to him. How he admitted how there were black people that came over as slaves and went back home to Africa. But they left physically. Well, hold on, hold on. Let me let me let me let me let me, let me, let me go back. Let me go back. In Mississippi. Let me go back. Uh, let me go back to. Uh, I'll stop here. Hey, uh, my brother. Put of doom, I was watching his video talking about the African nation of Liberia here in earlier videos. But due to my lack of research, he said, due to see, he said, due to my lack of research, he's always dissing people who do all this research. He don't like research, he don't like scholarship. And now you could tell he looks stupid, he looks dumb. You could tell the way he in this video, he had to come clean. He actually admitted that black people came from Africa. Let me play this again. Let me play this again. Because I want people to understand the fuckery that this dude's this dude is about. In earlier videos, but Due to my lack of research, I did not know that the original ancestors. <clears throat> at he said the original ancestors. So if if African people is not your people, and we supposed to be a different breed and all this other stuff, why would you consider them your ancestors, Talik? Could you answer that question? Why would you consider African people, these people that came from Africa that was in change, in shackled, your ancestors? Ancestors of Liberia, actually, they were raised as slaves in Mississippi. So isn't it ironic that um, those who are in Liberia, the ones who actually went to the continent of Africa, where y'all claim, some of you, that is, some of you talk about going back to Africa. Isn't it uh, ironic that the people 
came from Mississippi, that there is something about Mississippi folks that has got to be special. Now, first of all, they did, they did not come from Mississippi. They was brought to Mississippi. You just said they came from Africa. So that means they were shackled and probably somehow landed in Mississippi Mississippi. Because Mississippi also owned slaves like Virginia and Mississippi and, and 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 Texas and all these other southern states. So they didn't come from Mississippi. And why would you think Mississippi was special? And if it was so special, then why would they, why would these, why would these uh our our, our ancestors who come from Africa? Went, went, leave Mississippi to go back home to the motherland. See, these are questions that you can't answer. So there's nothing special about no damn Mississippi. That's a damn lie. Mississippi, something about Mississippi. Because the long-term vision of the Mississippi campaign is to exodus and not really just to Africa, but any on this earth because you have a right. You can go anywhere on this planet that you feel comfortable. Then if that's the case, Talik, because according to your campaign is Mississippi Operation Mississippi Exodus. So basically, your campaign is to you want black folks to escape to Mississippi. I, I you know, I, I thought that was the I uh, I thought that was part of uh, was your idea was that you want to make Mississippi the safe haven for black folks. So now you're telling me now you're telling the people, well, you can access anywhere you want. You don't have to. So you, it's not. So basically, you're saying, well, it don't have to be Mississippi. It don't have to be Mississippi. But why do you keep calling the Mississippi campaign if if we can go anywhere we want? I'm a little confused. Any place on this planet that makes you feel like a free man and woman that will give you the justice, give you the freedom, give you the equality that you deserve. Whether it is Africa or anywhere on this planet. So, the ancestors of those in Liberia came from a plantation in Mississippi. Right. They came from a plantation in Mississippi. And you want people to go back to the plantation. That's how I'm looking at it. You want black you want black people to go right back to the plantation. Incredible. The problem and I also know that this is a great problem. That's that's why I'm telling us and maybe later on today I will finish my talk about the transformation of black people. And Liberia is a perfect example because our ancestors who were in Mississippi, they actually did leave this country and move to Africa. Now, there you go. There you have it. There you have it. And So you have to understand that when you're dealing with slavery, uh, I'm talking about the transatlantic slavery. We're not talking about the sub-Saharan slave trade, but we're talking about the transatlantic slave trade. When Europeans from Europe, we're talking about slavery pretty much started in the what? In the 1400s among the Portuguese. 
by the 1500s, you had Britain, right? And that's how they discovered, that's how, I'm sorry, that's how they uh, uh, conquered this land and everything else. And so you're saying, so basically that they enslaved some people and from Africa, brought them to here in the States. And some black people, some, some of our people, some of our ancestors did go back home. They did go back to the motherland. Some of them could not. And let me say this, and it with the ones who, that went back to Africa, right out when Lincoln was president, and you, you're talking about generations. You're talking about centuries. You're talking about centuries. So those so those ancestors that he's talking about, that Talik's talking about, he's not talking about the he's not talking about he's talking about the descendants that went back home. He's talking about the descendants that went back to Africa. So my question is then why are you bashing? Pan-Africanism, because those black people, those descendants who went back home, knew their history. They knew their history. Those descendants who was talking English, who got custom to the uh, to Europeans' behavior, or the or I would say the way of life, they knew. They didn't forget where they came from. They knew where they came from, and they decide to go back home and to uh, reconnect themselves to their culture. Just like colleague Muhammad said, we was robbed of our language. We was robbed of our history. We was robbed. And the, those that went back to the motherland, it wasn't easy. It wasn't easy. And those that just stayed, they just stayed because they didn't maybe they didn't have the funds. They figured, well, we have land, we could just settle here. But that don't mean they want to be part of this United States government. But you want to make mockery of Marcus Garvey. Well, I'm going I'm to mention some quotes. I'm going to mention some quotes. What, what it means about being Pan-Africans. So I'm going to mention some quotes here. Now, according to, Mar to uh, Mar Marcus Garvey, Marcus Garvey said, Africa. This is coming from Marcus Garvey. He said, Africa for the Africans at home and abroad. Now, Pan-Africans, it means abroad. That's what the word Pan, it means, abroad. This is the reason why I say I'm African, but I'm African from abroad. So I have to put Pan-African. This is what Marcus Garvey said, Afri Africa for Africans at home and abroad. This is Marcus Garvey. Now, we, we're not going to stop there. Now, of course, Talik, if you're watching, you know, you know very well of colleague Muhammad a powerful warrior, an ancestor, a hero. And he was and when he said this quote, and I'm going to read this quote, he was in the nation of Islam. And I'm very surprised that how this idiot Talik Angel Snup Snup 
seven or whatever you want to call himself bashes the nation of Islam when he learned a lot from the nation of Islam. And when you when so that means you don't give a damn about Khalid Muhammad. You don't give a damn about Malcolm. Hell, you don't even give a damn about Elijah Muhammad. But what Khalid Muhammad said, Africa is not only our home, it's our throne. And from our throne, we rule our home, which is 1,096,000, well, well, 196 million, six, uh, 640,000 square miles of the planet Earth. So, a colleague Muhammad, Dr. Khalid Muhammad, I'm sorry, Dr. Khalid Muhammad said, Africa is not only our home, Africa is our throne. So you want to sit here and bash Africa, and you want to bash, so when you bash in Africa, and you bashing Pan-Africanism, you're bashing your ancestors. You don't give a goddamn about those ancestors that you're talking about in this video. To you, they're pieces of trash. To you, Talik, they're pieces of trash. So I'm going to play this last video. I'm going to play this last video here. And um, I'm going to have some fun with this one. I'm, <laughs> I'm going to have some fun with this video. We got, we got to chop this shit up. We got to, we got to chop this up. Let me take this out. Here we go. Let's chop this up. Let's make fun of this. This is the, <laughs> I didn't even know. This is another video where him and Alquan go at it. Now, I ain't going to front. I had, this video was so funny. And they both, it's kind of like they was fighting, fighting themselves. You know, Alquan had Talik against the ropes, Talik came back. Talik came back. But of course, I give it to Elquan. I think by decision, Elquan won the debate. Because this was a debate, but it was really funny. It was really funny. I, 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 we, we're going to definitely play with this. We're going to definitely, let's play with this. Let's play with this. <laughs> and I hope everybody hears this, because this is some funny shit. This is some funny shit. Now look at this, look at this fat fuck here. This this you could you could tell he's this this nasty butterball looking dude. This is one of uh, Talik's lovers. And then you're gonna see the then you're gonna see the mammy chick in this video too. Here we go. I don't see it at all. That's that's the problem. Yeah. You know, and, and I'm, I'm having a hard time believing in a God that would allow this type. Now, let me let me say something about this mammy chick. She had said a lot of uh, mean things on my chat when I did when I ethered while while I was ethering uh, the 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 the, the Mister uh, the the nutcase. And let me tell you something. This chick don't have no children. She's miserable. She tried to have an affair with her with her pastor and her church. Pretty much the people in the church started bashing her and her and her ways. And now she wants to 
blame God because God is not blessing her with anything. Now she wants to blame God. Now I remind you, who the fuck that she's connected to? She connected to a spirit killer. And when you're a spirit killer, you can't never grow. This is the reason why she's miserable. She's always talking about, oh, I don't see this. I don't see that. And she's she's a loser. She's a loser. And this is the type of black woman that no black man should want to be with. That she's not a sister. She's not a queen. She's a mammy. And 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 um she she give sisters a bad name. Real talk. So brothers, stay away from women like this. Stay away from women like this, where she's looking at another man from a a a, 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 a ghost of, of, of a ghost point of view. And let me tell this to, to this noble Levine. Let me tell you something. You, dear, is a disgrace. You said you worship Jesus. You claim that Jesus is a black man, but you never seen Jesus. You never seen Jesus. You got black men out here grinding, trying to uh, uh, protect and serve our sisters. And you overlooked us and you still overlooking us. You're an ungrateful piece of shit. You know what? I'm your God. You worship me. And let it be the last time you coming on my chat live disrespecting me. Let it be the last time. How dare you? You got good brothers out here fighting for y'all, fighting for women like you. And then you're going to look up to some ghost. Look at look how you looking out in the sky. Looking at the sky for some male ghost to come rescue you when you got brothers out here putting their life on the line for uh, for for y'all for you. I'm not gonna say y'all, but for you, people like you, you're ungrateful because you're connected to a loser and you're connected to a guy who who don't give a shit about black women who who's anti life. So. You're no good and you're ungrateful. If you're going to worship me, worship me. I'm living. I'm in flesh. I can, I can, I, you could talk. We could talk. We can, we could communicate. You can't communicate to no ghosts. You never seen Jesus. You don't know what Jesus looked like. He, you know what I'm saying? And matter of fact, if Jesus was so real, how come he would, how come Jesus is not in the history books? Can anybody answer me that? Can anybody answer me that if Jesus was real or Moses or anybody or any any of these characters in the Bible were real, how come you don't hear about them in the history books? All this schooling from from element from, from pre from pre-K all the way from high school, you don't hear about no Jesus Christ in none of the history books on world history or US, you don't hear none of that shit. Only time you see hear about Jesus is in its in inside in, 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 that you read in some Bible. So it's it's nonsense. This is it's bullshit. I just want to get that off my chest because this chick she's lost. But look at what look at who she's hanging with. Look at who she's connected to. Human suffering to continue on and on and and just it's it's really redundant at this point. It's it's redundant. It's ridiculous. You know, people are on the streets. You know, it, it, there should not be sixty eight thousand homeless people in Los Angeles. Uh -huh. That ought not to be. That's an embarrassment to this whole country. It sure is. If we have that that amount of people that are homeless living in their vehicles. Are living in makeshift tents 
all over the city of Los Angeles. Yeah. That's embarrassing. And, you know, I, I just feel like, okay, you know, everybody, you know, they say this is a Christian nation. Well, you know, we, we don't act like a Christian nation. We don't act like a Christian nation. We act more like a satanic nation <laughs> than a Christian nation. Right. I mean, we leave our our poor to rot on the streets, and you know, we we don't help the poor and needy. Um, we don't uplift them, get them out of this out of this situation. Let, let me let me let me fast forward because she just she that's all. And see, this is this is this is my question is: do something about it. You you complain, you complain, but you're not putting in no work. And if you claim that that if you support the Mississippi campaign, then where's where's the evidence? And that's all these his partners in crime. That's all they do is complain. They complain. They complain about the government. They complain about the religion. They complain about church. But they not want have not changed anything. And this is supposed to be his these two crabs, his partners in crime, who don't do shit but complain and bitch all the time in the videos. But I'm gonna fast forward because I wanna get to the battle between um Alquan and Angel Snuff Stuff Seven. Somebody's trying to get into your chat. Yeah, they're here. They are. Oh, okay. I'm constantly searching and praying, searching for God. And I'm just, I'm praying and hoping things would get better in my life. And it seems like things are getting worse, a lot worse. Mm. Yeah, I know that uh, I go through towns, you know, small cities and towns, <laughs> you know, almost every day. And when you talk about, you know, over 50,000 homeless just in the Los Angeles area, I go through little small towns and cities that <laughs> the population is like 5,000. So you have a homeless population in, Los, in the Los Angeles area, really uh, is the equivalent of almost maybe five, five towns or cities. And you know, they are actually a city to themselves. The homeless population, and that's just Los Angeles. What about right here in the St. Louis area, or the homeless in Nebraska, where uh, Brother Talib lives, all over this country? How can I mean? How can we even sleep at night? How can we even live with ourselves being citizens of this nation? Talking about you, the richest nation on the planet, most powerful, and we got all our citizens. We, a citizen is almost like saying, "Don't do you know how many generations of people that is? Two thousand years." When you can't rush, it ain't a, this is, look, we're in a bad situation. If you get in a car accident, you're in a bad situation, you expect the ambulance to, to make a move. And all the other cars on the highway get the hell out of the way so this ambulance can get through because this is a bad situation. We are in a bad situation. When Jesus and the ambulance, get him the hell from here, okay? That, that, that's what that needs to happen. But it's not happening. He's still waiting. He won't be bleeding to death. Heart getting ready to stop. Jesus ain't made it here yet. Come on now. I mean, and the same thing with all these religions. Ain't no different. Islam ain't no different. They wait, the nation of Islam waiting on the mothership to come up the sky and, and do all this miraculous stuff. You know, they, everybody's waiting on some miracle to come up and do something. It's not going to happen, y'all. People put us in this condition. It's going to take people to take us out of the condition. Just like Dr. King said. Dr. King said, or I quote, because I didn't hear him say it. Don't tell me. Oh, you know Dr. King said that. I don't know what Dr. I wouldn't know how. They said that Dr. King said evil exists because good people do nothing. And that's exactly right. Because I see a lot of good people, y'all ain't doing nothing, because clearly you would be good for nothing. It's all about fear. You know? You know? Uh, I, I, I agree. What we do have to do, we have to get it together. We have to stop messing with the religion, yeah, which is true. But at the same time, we can't convince and try to talk people out of religion. That is a waste of time. Uh -huh. That's been going on for over 2,000 years. Probably more than that, really. Yeah, You just can't do that. 
So you have to show and demonstrate to people a better alternative. Then people will get on board. And that's why I know you're going to take this as a... And here we go. Here we go. <laughs> you're going to attack the Mississippi campaign. Oh, man. I, this, this was a great... This is dope. Here we go. Shout at you, but this is why when I say when it comes to that Mississippi campaign, you can't stay away from it. Uh, Mississippi and expect everybody else to go. You got to go to it and then demonstrate to the people, hey, this is what's working. See, I'm here. I'm taking that bit. And he's right. You supposed to go, Missis. You supposed to go to Mississippi. You supposed to have get connections with the officials, with the governor, with the mayor. You know, you know, get you got to You got to get the ball rolling. You got to get the ball rolling. Now, he claimed that he's from Mississippi. He was raised there. So you you familiar with Mississippi. You familiar with the government there. So even if you got to run for office over there yourself, at least we can say, hey, you know what? This guy's serious. Maybe, maybe hey, you, you'd be surprised. That's how you inspire people. You inspire people through actions. Remember, they say faith without actions means death. Faith without actions means death. So if you're not putting in work, then it don't mean nothing. You're just you're just wasting people's time and energy. It's a big come. And like I say all the time, that's the same demonstration that people did when they uh, went to Atlanta. They said, hey, I'm here. <laughs> right. People show me they're interested. I'll be happy to roll. I'm not gonna go there and live there no time. So I was born there. I have no problem with Mississippi. I was born there. I have relatives there. I'm gonna I'm gonna Mississippi tonight if I want to. Hey, let's get that straight. I was born in Mississippi. I was raised there. My relatives there. That's where my roots is. If I want to go to Mississippi tonight, there's nothing stopping me. But this is the thing. That you have to understand. <laughs> if the people are not showing me they are interested, then I'm not interested either. When the people show me they are interested, then I'm going to do the work. Now you heard what he said? He said, well, if the people are not interested, then I'm not interested. Then I'm not interested. But Alcorn raised a good question. Well, if people are not interested, if you're not interested, then why you keep mentioning it? Why is it just... Just said, okay, just forget about it and just move on to something else. That doesn't make sense. Not because... I'm not going to work and sacrifice for no new role, and I'm doing all the work and they benefit. I'm not Dr. King. I'm not going to get shot in the neck for some Negro. But you have to. I'm not going to get I'm not going to get blown away for some Negro. And see, that's coward. You see what he's saying? This is a man that's a coward. You're afraid to get killed. You're afraid of this and that. Wait a minute, I thought you, because you claimed that you served, you pin in a, you was in a crazy pin, crazy, uh, in a crazy pin for like what, ten years? So you, you living in fear. That's fear talk. That's coward talk. And you think I want to be connected to that? He's not a warrior. Because, and now you don't want to put your life on the line. You know what I'm saying? Because you're trying to, because if that's your passion. One thing about someone's passion, you're gonna do it. That's you. You're gonna you're gonna do it. If you have a passion to play sports, play any type of sports, you're gonna do it. You're not gonna worry about what people say or or, or, or do. You're not gonna worry about. It. You're gonna go out there and you're gonna say, "This is my passion. This is what I want to do. This is my goal, and I'm gonna do it." And you and the people are a bunch of ingrates. Like right now. People are much angry. They're not grateful for what Dr. King did or Harriet Tubman or any of our people prior to us. They stood right here and enjoyed the benefits of somebody else who gave their life and sacrificed and suffered. I'm not going to do that. When people send me emails, when people show me they are interested and want to do the job and get the job done, then I'm ready to roll. Until then, hell no. <laughs> no. I'm not now, now, that just shows you. Those two crabs, Levine and that Ty, and his boyfriend Talib, you notice they never said nothing. They never said, hey, you know what? We're doing something. 
Because th as all of this, they're not interested. Because if, trust me, if the ball was rolling, they would have got involved. And you know it's through the whole going back and forth, those two crabs did not say anything. They, they, they enjoyed it. They loved it. Because these people ain't about shit. They ain't about nothing. They getting paid just to, you know, they 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 getting paid because Talik is paying these people to promote to promote him. It has this has nothing to do about no Mississippi nothing. Not doing a damn thing. You see, that's that, that's that's what we call stagnation because well, 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 that's what we call stagnation. Well, so, they stagnated. I'm not the one stagnated. They are no, the one. No, but you're the one who came with the idea. You got to get the ball rolling. I'm not going to do nothing. I got the ball rolling. I got the ball rolling by saying, this is what? Who want to come and help? Okay, let me, let me get the ball rolling. When are you going to do something? Are you ready to come and help me? All right, let me get this other ball no, rolling. No, no. Everybody. No, 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 no. Are you ready to help me? Well, uh, again, I got I to gotta, I gotta see if it works. And no, you no, no. You're going to see if I, you're going to see whether or not it works because you're going to be right there with my happy ass doing the work. Well, no, that's not how it works. No, that that's just how it works. Sir. It's just like when you work. No, 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 don't try to scheme out of it. Or no, I'm not scheming out. Oh, no, don't you, try to. You said, are you going to ready to help me? Do see? I joined Minister Farrakhan. I helped him work for nine years. Now, see, that's two different things. The the, the nation of Islam was 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 already established. Talik was not around in the 1930s. He didn't. Join forces with his master, Farad Muhammad, Wallace Farad Muhammad. He didn't. He didn't uh, 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 help him uh, create uh, the, the Nation of Islam. So that's 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 a poor example. He only been with the Nation for ten years, but it was already established. It was already established. Hell, he wasn't even around when Malcolm was around. So they can't tell me, well, you didn't help do the work. You No, sir. I helped do the work for nine years. So I have the right to talk. Right. You want to have the right to talk. You want to tell me something. You get here in the trenches with me and let's get the job done. Check it out. If I want to do that, then why are you running your mouth? I'm, I'm going to show you why I'm running my mouth. I need to do. Check it out. You're not willing to do nothing. Your I hope you're not going to try to overtalk me so I can't. Uh, I'll put this wisdom for it. Uh, <laughs> now, when you go to your job, in order to get the job that you got, somebody had to demonstrate that this job is beneficial to you. That's true. He's right. He's right. That's the reason why you apply for a job. You'd be like, "What? Wow, this shit works. All right. And I can get paid for it. All right. You got to, you, you know, you it's already established. He's right. Alquan was he he's absolutely right. So you better come get on board, right? I know I, I, I know you want to say yeah. talk about we're not talking about no job. We're talking about you talking about a job that already you talking about a job that already exists. I'm talking about the nation of Islam already existed too. On floor, let's get it on, let's move. I ain't talking about what somebody telling you. You can come after the fact. I'm talking about getting something started from the ground, from the ground up. I'm not talking about something that already it existed. Oh, you could come and bring somebody into the fold. No, I'm talking about you join me, Aquan, get in the trenches with me, and let's do the let's do this thing. Here's the thing. Let's do this thing. If you were serious about it, you would go lead the way like a general. I'm not I'm not trying to be a general, sir. <laughs> no, I'm saying this is what you would do. I'm not a general. I'm not a general. I'm not a general, sir. You build it. I'm not, not gonna build a damn thing. Wow. You know, what do you argue? What do you tell people about a Mississippi game? I'm, I'm offering you something. It's just like the it's like the story of the little red hen. The little red hen went out and said, Look, who will help me put these seeds in the ground? I ain't gonna put no seeds in the ground. Nobody would have helped put the seeds in the ground. Uh, the weed is gone. Who would help me thresh the wheat? You, sir, is not the little red hen. See, the little red hen, even though the little red hen didn't get no help, guess what? She, The little red hen did it anyway. 
she did it anyway. But you, sir, you not doing anything because since nobody's not helping you, quote unquote, helping you, you're not going to do it. So you can't, don't never compare yourself to the little red hen. We all that type of stuff little red hen had, had to do. But when everything is done, can everybody come? I want you to be on the ground. I usually work. I want you to be, see, but I'm not doing that. I'm not playing that. When I eat but my you're food, not doing that, you're not really doing anything. With me, whatever <laughs> I do, if it's, if, my, if it's myself, Brother Talib, Sister Noah, if we get together and do something, all of us are going to enjoy our work. The hell with you, Aquan. And you heard what he said? He said, if we decide to do something. So these guys, so he knows that his partners in crime ain't going to do shit. That's what he said. Well, if we decide to do something. So what the fuck you have them for? They're not going to willing to help. And you see how they sit back and they never said, hey, brother, you know what? We'll help you. What do you want us to do? And they sat back. And they ain't enjoying the show because they know they don't want to be part of that. They don't want to be part of that Mississippi campaign crap. That's, that's, that's a fair thing if you yeah, want to do right. that. But if you yeah, say you're about the people, you, make, you become the hierarchy and everybody else, they get the crumbs. But I don't care about the crumbs. They don't get my crumbs. Hold up. Aren't you the same guy who said, you said, I don't care. You can come as you are. I'm about helping the people, liberating the people. Aren't you that same guy? uh -oh. <laughs> Aren't you that same guy who says, I don't care about your lifestyle, I don't care about I nothing. Know, as long as you're black, I want, I want you to be free. Yep, he said it. That's true. He did say that. He did say that, which I proved to you in the, in earlier. He did say that. He did say that. Go ahead, Alcorn. You on the roll. Bring it. Bring it. Huh? That's right. Bring it. All right. So what are you talking about? You ain't getting the crumbs if I get some. Because you're not. I <laughs> uh, see, man. This is why. It's not fair for us to act the way that we do right now. When Dr. King took a bullet and all these people in front of us took a bullet and we stood around right here like, like ingrates. So, this is why I criticize this because it, everything you say adds up to stagnation. Go nowhere, stop. Mm -hmm. you know, He's right. Don't blame right. me. No, 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 I gotta blame the man with the idea. Yep. Don't, don't blame the man with the idea. <laughs> <laughs> the people don't want to move. <laughs> Wait a minute. He, he said, "Don't blame me." You, yo, you are, yo. This dude is a dick. Yo, you the one who came up with the idea. You, you gotta be, you gotta be blamed for it. You gotta be blamed for it because you ain't starting it. You can't, and then you're gonna try to compare yourself to the little red hand. The little red hand did it anyway. That's her, that was her passion. That was her passion. The main person doesn't want to move. Why would you expect no. the person to want to move? Because it's not about me. This is not. If it was a person, it's about me. It's not about you. Why are you trying to force the Mr. Mississippi campaign on people? I'm not forcing you nothing on you. I'm not forcing nothing uh. on nobody. But why? How come when people say I'm not with that? don't want to do it, then give it up. Then give it up. If the people don't want to do it, then give it up. Move into another idea that people would like. That's what that, that ain't that's common sense. 
if one if if you put out an idea and people say no that's not going to work or we're not feeling that idea and then give you a couple of reasons why it won't work then why don't you bring another idea that will work why don't you go you know you type the rbg but you know why it's working it might it might be slow but you know what our, our ancestors put something for us to to uh and it, it is working it is working now i don't your idea hasn't even kicked off because number one it's not your passion you don't really want to do it you don't want to do it you was hoping somebody else to do it that's that you know the, the two crabs that's that the partners of crime they don't want to do it but do you want to just bash and make mockery to your own you just like another Tommy Sotomayor. Oh, I, I definitely agree with you on that. If the people don't want to do it, it's not going to get done. Exactly. Don't do it, so it's not going to get it's done. right, well, right. It's not going to get done. All right. So here you are. If you want me to do something so bad, you join me, and both of us together, we can make that move. But See, you don't want to do nothing. What you want to do is sit back in the cut and criticize. No, I only criticize. I, I actually said it was actually a decent idea, but I said the, the man who comes up with the idea. The man who comes up with the idea, you can do it by your damn self. <laughs> <laughs> what are you arguing for? You do it. Nobody else is doing it, but when people don't do it, you say, oh, nobody's no. helping me out. Wait a minute! Wait a minute! Wait a minute! Wait a minute! So wait a minute! He comes with an idea, but you want other people to do it. So oh, okay, I came, I came up with the idea, so y'all handle it. And so he get back, he sit back on his ass, and he'll get full credit and say, "Oh, well, it was my idea. I should get praised." While everybody did all the hard work, did all the 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 grinding, and he wants to get credit for nothing. This is what he's saying. This is what I'm getting from, from this moron. People don't want to make the move. Why should I? I'm not going to work for you out there. Because you're you the one with the idea. That's why. There's no benefit for me to do to help you. you yeah, there's no me. benefit for anybody else. If you don't you demonstrate, there is a <laughs> God help those who help themselves. You don't want to help yourself. I'm not going to do all Come out here and do the damn work. I'm you know not going to do I'll tell you what, I, I accept that. But you you here, don't want to do a damn thing. I'll accept that, but from here on, you shouldn't mention you want me to. You, you, want me to. you want me to. Thank you. You want me to. He said. He said I can accept that, but you. you but for for here on, you don't mention the Mississippi campaign again. I agree. I agree. If you don't, if you, if nobody, if you're not doing it, then stop talking about it. No one gives a shit about that Mississippi campaign crap. Okay. Is you? I mean, this is your idea. That Mississippi exit is garbage. Nobody don't care about it. You don't give because people don't care. They don't. They don't. They don't like the idea. They don't like it. So move on to create another idea that people will agree on. That's just common sense. Well, first of all, you're trying to get a soft Put it on your channel, sir. Look. <laughs> this guy's sick. This you want me to make a move? You come help me. When I when I when I talk to all these people, I'm willing to help them. Get in, I'm willing to get in the dirt with them. I proved it. I was with the Nation of Islam for nine years. But that was an already established thing, wasn't it? Yep, that was. It was already established. It don't make no difference. I worked that program. I have all kinds of people. But you me because it was during established. The time, the whole time I've been here. <laughs> Since I was a little boy, I've helped all kinds of people. I've helped the poor. I've helped the more size, the more size temple. I've helped the Hebrew Israelites. I've helped a lot. Of Matter of fact, I helped the Christian church. You I, can't like even, I can't even tell you. I can't even tell you. I mean, I sell. I'm telling the church. I'm not, I'm not chipping with stuff like that. I will help you. <laughs> now, the question is, since you got all this stuff to say, are you willing to help me? No, no, I said, I said it before. Check this out. I'm going to 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 check
How much? I don't give a damn. Is this promotion? That's true. That was a promotion of fifty dollars. He he wanted Elkhorn to promote to promote him, and and he offered he paid Elkhorn to put put uh put Angel Snuffs up on a mat. You've been making videos for almost eleven years, going on twelve years, and you still not popular. Hmm. But you're gonna get mad. You're gonna get jealous of Sarah Sudesteady and Umar Johnson because these pop these people been around the same time you've been around, and they got all these subscribers, and you still got your little got your little few subscribers, your little handful of subscribers. Mm, something's terribly wrong, buddy. Most of the How much you give me? So I gave you. I'm giving you my time. <laughs> Right. He's giving him his time. He's right. This is what he paid for. This is what Talik paid for. You paid Elkhorn fifty dollars to give to so you want Elkhorn to give you some time. Now how much did you give me? I'm giving you this exciting YouTube live right now. That's no, you're not giving me an exciting damn thing. <laughs> you can just go back to your own right now and tell me exciting. You ain't giving you ain't you, you, you got nothing exciting about this. Right? I mean, you sit here and you're faceless. Nobody don't know who the hell you are. Well, I'm not faceless. I, I, you have, faceless. A, I have a face. Turn on the camera. On so you can see I, I don't face. have a camera. I'm not. Why are you you're a liar, man. Come on, get off. Man, <laughs> I can't go, go all over YouTube, messing with some data, messing with whoever he can find, the BIA or whatever. See, I show my face. You mess with them too. So what you talking about? I, I show my face. I'm right there in the face. That's not a rule. I don't have to show my face. Because you're scary. I'm not scared. I just don't have to. We don't know. What are you about? What's your purpose? My purpose is to truly unite the people and stop the BS and get to Oh, you're not? But no, I don't want to. <laughs> How do you unite the people when you ostracize uh, our gay and our lesbian people? Because those are not the people I'm interested in. That's why. So you don't say the people. Say your group. Say your cult. Your cult, your group. You don't why, are you, why are you interested in united uh, homosexuals? Explain it. Because Talik is a homosexual. That's why he wants to unite. He loves. He been with that 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 fat fuck right there. His one of his uh, 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 partners in crime. That nasty looking fat nutty professor fat fuck right there. That 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 uh, the the blob with the glasses. You know what I'm saying? That's that's what that's what that that's his lover. That's to us. Uh -oh. I said, why are you interested in uh, uniting homosexuals? Why is that a priority for you? Mm -hmm. Good question. My people are diverse. Plumbers, electricians, lawyers, doctors, gays, and who gives a damn? Hold on, hold on. Plumbers, <laughs> doctors, and, and homosexuals, those are two different things. That is two different things. He's right. You can't compare a profession and a lifestyle. That's two different things. Two different. The man is confused. See, see, the man is confused. The, the guy's an idiot. The people, the people are different. Those are occupations and trades for homosexuality. Whatever the people, whatever the people are, Christians, Muslims, come back. Nah, you, you can't run a society like that. The people. Okay, that, the that include uh, black criminals as well? The sinners of slaves born in America. The people, they are diverse. Does that include criminals? criminals? Right. As long, he said, he's as long as they're black, it could be gangs that kill other black people. They should deserve justice and equality. Homosexuals, black people that bring that 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 merit to the enemy, they all deserve justice and equality. So my question is to Angel Snup Snup, if why would you, if you claim that you for the people, why would you want to bring the enemy among the people? If you claim that you for black people, that's part of the LGBT move, the LGBT uh, uh, organization, but the organization, that organization is not run by black people, it's run by the enemy. 
but they're going to be stationed in Mississippi. Then you claim that you support, then you claim that you want the gangs over there that, that kill black people, other black, black on black crime, Negroes, that they want, do you want them? Hey, as long as they're black, they can come on in too. They deserve justice and equality. And then you got this swirling where they're going to bring their, the enemy because they're married to them. They have children by them. So they're going to bring the enemy. And it doesn't matter if they're white, yellow, red, brown. They're all the enemy. Anybody that's not black are the enemy. So they're going to they're gonna bring them in. So this is what you support. You, you love this rainbow coalition type of movement. But as long as black people benefit, you okay with that. Particular, you're talking about your particular clique. Well, you right. your clique. Because you gotta, you gotta stop because the BS and start working with the Turks. That's why. You can't do that, everybody. You don't represent what the people want. Matter of fact, you ain't asked the people for a damn thing. I'm part of the people, and you don't, you don't represent me. Yeah, you're not the kind I'm trying to attract. <laughs> <laughs> because you're the kind that's not gonna do anything. Right, exactly. Like, what, have, look, what have you done since you're here? I, I have reproduced black people. That's what I've done. You have what? I reproduced black people. That's what I've done. Where is it? Do it. Do it. Do it. Put it on the screen. My children. That's what. You what? No children. <laughs> Anybody can have a child. <laughs> <laughs> what? 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 That's a major contribution <laughs> to black people. So what are you talking no, about? No, that's, that's a major contribution to the crack because you had children. <laughs> and a white boy can make a slave out of them. You're paranoid with the slavery thing. Every time you drive that truck, that's slavery. That's you damn get over it. there. <laughs> you're right, you're right. That is, that's slavery. You know why slavery? Because I can't work for myself. But poor like you, you're not the But guys like you, if you're supposed to be the leader, the master. I'm not a leader. <laughs> why do you come up with these ideas? Then? I never, I never, I'm not a leader. Then why you keep trying to tell people what to do? I ain't told you a damn thing. You can do it or you don't. Know. Help me. Why do we have to help you? You don't have to help me. You don't have to do nothing. Like you don't have to do nothing. Why, why are you complaining when people don't help you then if you're not allowed to complain about nothing? We well, just keep complaining right now. And you when you come here and you want to talk about trying to the uh the great the Mississippi campaign, I'm gonna defend this platform. As long as what? you keep the Mississippi campaign out your mouth, I have no problem with it. But when you defend oh, okay. I'm gonna hold you to it. I'm gonna hold you to it. When you when you defend when you come and try to make mockery of the Mississippi campaign, okay, I don't make I have the right. I don't make now now just like and I can have a, every right to defend the RBG nation black first movement I have that right to defend it you know what I'm saying so you know um it's, it goes both ways but see I, I I defend it because I'm living it I'm I'm producing you sir Talik Amarad you're not producing anything so that's the difference. Make mockery of it. I just explained the simplistic truth. No, the man, simplistic truth. The man in charge says, "I'm not going to Mississippi. You don't have to go to Mississippi, but target Mississippi to take it over. It makes no sense. It's like let's invade Iraq, but let's not go there, though. Know? <laughs> what are you getting this narrative for? I never said nothing about taking taking over no damn Mississippi. He did what say that. Talik, you did say that. Look at the promotional video again, sir. Look how simple it was. It said, it does not say nothing about going to Mississippi. Has nothing, there has nothing, it said nothing about taking over Mississippi. It does not say that. Okay, Look, explain, the explain why it's a Mississippi campaign. That's not the wonderful video that Omar Shabazz made. You had the man waste his time doing it. <laughs> Here you, are, you cannot, you cannot understand simplicity. All your education. Where you get your education from? Where white you man's college. White man's what, college. What? White man's university. Yep. Now, now, first of all, how the hell are you going to ask him where you get your education? Motherfucker, where you get your education from? When I asked him, when I asked Talik in the past, uh, what, uh, what, what is your grade level of education? He could not, he didn't want to tell me. That's how, that, that, that I mean, because he knows he's, he was embarrassed. He was really embarrassed to tell me. You know what I'm saying? He didn't, he didn't say anything. So I already know that he probably don't have a 10th grade education. 
He don't. He probably don't even have a tenth grade. I don't even. Th I don't even know if the man dropped out of high school because he probably did. But you gonna ask somebody else of their education? Unbelievable. Somebody done taught you wrong. Well, see that's the problem. Somebody done taught you wrong. White man's university. They think they know it all, but they really don't know anything. See, that's the reason why you have to have a picture. You have to have a picture because you shame on yourself. <laughs> <laughs> I stand on mine. Check it, check it out. When, 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 I enough, when I get enough, when I get enough support, no, when I get enough support, then I'll wait show a minute, my Wait a minute, hold up. When you get enough support, but you getting on my case because I don't have no support, but I'm supposed to make this no, move. No. I'm only making this move on my own, but now you say, oh, okay, well, let, I, me, let, me, let me say this because see, you, right now you're getting ghetto fired. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let me let me clarify. <laughs> you know, you to clarify you, see, see, you, you, told to me, you told me why don't I make a move on my own? Just go ahead and do it. Out. If I, if so you I, I, how come you wait? Well, I oh, I am making moves. What's the difference? Where is the move? Once I get enough money, you're gonna see the moves. Now, okay, now Alcorn, this is where he fucks up. Now, Alcorn, you he ain't doing Alcorn. You you know you ain't doing this shit. You ain't doing shit either. <laughs> I'm sorry, bro. You on a roll. You on a roll. Don't let this dude you know have you answer questions because and, and eventually you know he did ask you some tough questions, and you have not back it up either, bro. I'm sorry. You have not back up either. I'm, I'm rolling with you, but you know you you didn't let this guy. You could have just just did, did make. You know, you could have just kept this guy against the ropes. But, you know, but now you're starting to get against the ropes. Friend, you're going to see. See, for you, we're not going to see anything. We're just going to keep hearing things. No, oh, because you don't want to see that because the people don't want that. So I'll push it. No, the people who are supporting just not fast enough, but they're supporting. What, 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 where is it? You're going to see soon enough, my friend. And then <laughs> after a while, you see my face. I don't want to end up like the irritated genie. You see the face, then you go through problems. People. Going crazy. Uh, yeah, yeah. Come on, Alquan. Stop it. Stop it, bro. You come on. You've been you 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 know, nah. You know, you pull it out. Okay, but check it out. You don't roll with the excuse. Check it out. I would have came up with a Mississippi. Hold on, see. He's actually better. He's over talking to people. And you're picking yourself. When you're over talking people, you don't really want people's information. Hey, put this on your channel. So your people can see how well no, I'm not going to have together, man. <laughs> no, this is your excuse. You can have this one. No, I want you to no, 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 no. You put it on your channel so your people can see that you ain't as smart and educated as they think that you are. Check this out. Would, if I would have came up with a victory and you, you all. Oh, okay, I got that. I got that. I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a nigga. I'm a black piece of trash. I'm all that. I got that. No, I don't know if black piece of trash. Uh, you, come on, that's your number one. Uh, video. I said black piece of trash. I said piece of trash. I you know what it's called? You say pieces of trash. You say piece black trash. piece of trash. And let me tell you something. He got that from Tommy Sotomayor. Tali got that black black piece of trash, uh, piece of trash, just putting, just, just degrading his people. Just degrading his people. You know, he got that from Tommy Sotomayor. You say your people are nothing but black pieces of trash. And I said black piece of trash, you're a liar. I'm Go not lying. I'm not lying. Don't get the video. See, that's okay, the you know, anybody got to do is watch it. These people, these people always talk about, oh, I'd like to bring the receipt. I'm going to bring the receipt. Bring the receipt and show me what I said. Black pieces this of trash. A, uh, common tactic. Bring the receipt right Show down. me the video. I want to see it myself. Because maybe I talked so fast, I didn't realize I said Okay, okay that's a good excuse. Yeah. That's a good excuse. I, I, don't say, I, I know I didn't say that. Okay. Well, anyway, if I would have came up with the Mississippi <laughs> campaign, I was serious about it. <laughs> I would go to Mississippi and demonstrate to the people how I'm going to set this off. Oh, no, bye. Bye. See, see, this, this is what I mean. This is why black people don't get anywhere. Yeah, because you don't want to do nothing. I'm going to ah. explain something to you. Ah. See. You're not doing what you claim ah. to do. Go do it. The, this is why you want to argue like this. I'm not arguing. Go why? You said. Why are you over talking to me? I'm trying you're to not doing me. anything. I'm you're trying to explain me. something. You're telling me what I need to do. No, 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 no. I'm not telling you what you need to do. So I'm telling you what you need to do. I'm telling you what I would do <laughs> if I came up with the Mississippi campaign. I'm doing this. I'm, I'm 
Listen, can you at least hear me so I can tell you what I'm saying? No, I do not want to hear you. You're not saying anything. You're not saying anything. You know? You're not saying anything. I'm having a problem you. <laughs> from my perspective, that's all. I don't give a damn about your perspective. I know, because it's going to uh, make you look like a hypocrite, right? I'm not that's a hypocrite. Right? You don't even know what a hypocrite is. Why don't you hear me out? What is a hypocrite? Why don't you hear me out? I'll tell you that. Tell me about your work. Where your work at? <laughs> my work is all around. Yo, the work is all around. Yeah. Anyway, let me let me get that. They both some fucking clouds, B. Well, my work is all around. You gonna see it one day, my friend. <laughs> Yo, Alcorn is a fucking nut. I ain't gonna front. He's like two peas in a pod. Well, I'm telling you, these motherfuckers are fucking jokes. Oh, this is fun. This is one of the funny debates, B. I ain't gonna front. I ain't gonna front. What state is it on? I'm going to tell you in a minute. What street is it on? I am going to tell you in a minute. But check this out. If no, I, no, no, and, and look at the look at the part as a crowd Negroes in the back. They just sit there and enjoy this shit. And neither one of them didn't even step in and say, nah, 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 nah. Get, kill that noise, yo. Let's stick to the script. Let's stick to the subject. They just sat back and they enjoyed this shit, man. Those, those are suckers. Both of them. That, that mammy chick and that punk uh, blubber, blubber that, that hefty bag homosexual that Tyler was messing with in the background, got his arm in the back. He's enjoying it. 